<sighs> too much entry. Sorry for the delay. It's time to keep on going with Zelda. How exciting! Yeah, I should be able to do a bit more in the desert and then go to water area. Yeah. Try to see how many echoes I can obtain before everything changes around. So we got you over here. Hello. And Nellis? Uh. It's not every day I see another highway in Gerudo Desert. If you're wondering about that tent, there's a Gerudo researching something or other in there. I'm sure she could use a hand if you felt inclined. Might help take your mind off of all the rifts. And what's your deal? Hello? All I can think about is the Lanmola. Where is it? Lanmola? Oh, uh. Lanmola is the type of monster that lives here in the desert. Ever found yourself caught in a sandstorm while walking the desert? Oh, so the sandstorm might go away if we killed the Lanmola. And that's a boss originally from Link to the Past as well. Fought a group of three. Well, the Lanmola is the one creating the sandstorms. I'm pretty sure defeating it would put an end to the sandstorms. Although I've heard some people say there's more than one Lanmola. Regardless, I wonder where in the desert such a monster would be. Okay. Yeah. Incessant sandstorms are caused by a Lanmola, so if we can find defeat it, maybe that'll solve the sandstorm problem. The whole rift mess is everyone in town pretty worried. If we can stop the sandstorms, it'll make getting around easier so we can better help people. Okay. Hmm. Some piranhas. Where could they be? What are you talking about? And what if we dive? Nothing around here. What do you have to say? That's if you ever get lost in the desert, make sure to check your map. The map won't do you much good in the middle of a sandstorm. Oh. That that cloak. Oh, apologies for my intensity. You reminded me of someone else. Hmm. You see, I nearly got pulled into a rift a long time ago. At the time, a swordsman wearing a very similar cloak rescued me. He took a uh, wave after wave of monsters as they swarmed from the rift. It was quite the sight. It's actually the reason I decided to become a soldier. I want to be strong like him someday. Hmm. I need to do that, and what are you looking for, and what is in this chest? We get mad at me if I take that, and oh, okay, it's just cactuses. Okay. And there's a business scrub right here. Hello. Hey there, hello from the smoothie shop. What can I do you for? Oh, we can make a lot of things with these cactuses. Can we? Anything we haven't made yet? No, it's all stuff we've already made, so it's just finding two options I haven't located yet in terms of two ingredients besides the eggs I haven't found yet. Because there are two, and I would imagine both of them would be jobable, but we'll see what happens. Come back soon, and you're very pink. Huh. What is this? Tough Mango Plant Lab. Where could they be? Where, where, where? Facet. Like a gem? Facet doesn't know, and she's the Chief's eight. so where are they? Oh, just muttering to myself. Sorry about that. I'm Tormali, an Oasis guard. Guarding the Oasis is my main priority, but I've tasked with an, been tasked with another another mission recently. And what is that? Take it you're not from here, are you? In which case, you might be able to help oh. me. In your travels, have you ever seen tiles that can fly through the air? According to my boss's research, ancient Gerudo used them to chase off unwelcome guests. You have one of those flying tiles. Mm. I've been scouring the desert in search of these tiles, but so far nothing. Maybe with better luck, though, if you find one, could you bring it to me? Quest, a flying tile, toward Molly, a Gerudo that guards the oasis, looking for a flying tile. As requested by her boss, they are located in an area that isn't easy to access. Oh. Found those already? In her travels, they have seen tiles that fly through the air, according to yada 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 yada. Okay. Oh. Let's get myself... Let's get that equipped. Get that tile equipped. Just put it down right here. Okay. And that's too far away. There we go. And it'll keep hovering without moving. Whoa. And there it goes. This is the flying tile that Facet spoke of. And now it's broken. Got to show that to me again. Show it to me a bunch. And what's our reward? I guess it cut to black. Alright, now that I've seen the tiles from my own eyes, I can share what I'm learning with my boss. Thank you, you've been a huge help. Please take this as payment for your assistance. And it's okay, just a purple rupee. Hmm. My boss is a leader among the Gerudo with her responsibility. She doesn't leave town much. She does make a point of researching in the ruins, looking for useful things to bring into town. She's so incredibly selfless, I aspire to be like her. And we finished that and got our reward. Show Tormali a flying tile. She expressed her gratitude. She can now contribute to the research of her boss, whom she admires, is committed to. Hello. Yeah. 
Thank you for showing me a flying tile. The world is filled with all kinds of things just waiting to be discovered. This is the oasis. This is the tough mango plant lab. Wondering what's going to be inside here. Oh, we got Gerudo scientists. What is this fan? Oh? Curious about my fan. I'd be willing to part with it if you come talk to me about something else first. Yeah, I'm kinda, more or less, and this is a better bed. Nice. So, you were in the soft bed, Echo. It's easy to just close your eyes and drift, drift away on this soft, well-maintained bed. That's gonna restore more health than the old bed, but also cost more, so it won't be as useful for bridging. Okay. What are you talking yeah. about? Gerudo soldiers and dancers used to rest here, but now it's Turma's base for mango research. Turma trusts that Chief Sira will figure out what to do about the rifts here in the desert. So she's keeping her focus on plant research, knowing it'll benefit everyone's future. Yeah, it... I'm sorry, but not every desert is a reference to Ever Oasis. Go back to the club. Okay, soldiers, mango research, rifts, yeah, yeah, okay. Hello, Torma. Hello there, Wanderer. Welcome to the Tough Mango Plant Lab. Here at the lab, we research effective cultivation in preparation for potential food crises. So are we going to get mangoes as a smoothie ingredient for here? Mango smoothie? Uh. My current field of studies focuses on tough mangoes, oh, so probably. Uh. After much research, I've successfully developed tough mango seeds that grow at a rapid rate. Sharing the results of my work should help countless people in the future. There's just one little problem. This mango plant withers as quickly as it grows, so I'm unable to harvest fast enough. Rupee counters shown up, so it's definitely a minigame. I can't compile data if I can't harvest properly. This rate, I'll run out of funding for my project. Mm -hmm. What is a Genshin limited time event? In response, I've been enlisting folks to help with a little game of Mango Rush. Always mean. You can easily harvest the mangoes with a bit of force, like from a spin, so we spin around. I don't drink them. Not these ones, at least. There was a participation fee up front, but I've got a gift for you if you harvest a lot of them. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Mm -hmm. Only 10 rupees for a participation fee. Is that okay? Sure. Uh -huh. Great, head downstairs to the field and wait for me. Oh? Mangoes can be harvested with a bit of force, but too much and they'll burn up. Burning mango? Huh. I'd like for you to harvest 40 or more mangoes. If you do, you'll get to take some home. Let's get started. Oh, this is a minigame only ingredient then. Oh, that's cool. And... Where are the mangoes? I have the bed available. And there we are. Ah, it's the timing thing. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, so it's about trying to get all of them, maybe. Yeah, what if we got every single mango? What if we get a speed bonus? Maybe. Too much force and it'll burn up. Main thing is spamming. Spin, spin, spam the spin, and... Okay, I want to see if they'll go up on the wedges, because that would be... Mm, too much force, they probably mean. You can't use your sword for this, or any kind of weapon. So it's just about basically speedy spins. Oh, that's cool. And there we go. We got every single mango. Exciting. 50 already. Well done. I'm thoroughly impressed. You managed to harvest them all. Thank you for helping gather such valuable data. Please take a bunch of the tough mangoes. That's only five. Okay, this item can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed into a drink. Do this a few times to get enough for making the ingredients. I don't know. You're the first to harvest so superbly. She's good, real good. Maybe she can even hail the extra dangerous seeds. Okay, so there are difficulty modes then. That's fun. So actually, I have some vibrant seeds that can yield even larger harvests. I had them shelved, but I'll make an exception for you if you want to see them next time. Come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting for you. Five mangoes. Curious about my fan. Back before I was deep into my research, I was a pretty serious dancer. I won that golden fan there by placing first in a dance competition and judged on elegant choreo. Uh. Choreography. I'd be willing to part with it if you help me out with Mango Rush. So I wonder what we use that for then. So that whole katana before. Or what if we go down here? Will she stop us? Yeah, she'll stop us. We can't go down without the minigame. Uh, please speak with me directly if you'd like to try Mango Rush. Oops. What do you have to say yeah. now? Okay, it's just more about the Mango Research. Yeah. So that is going to be one more ingredient in Jabal then. Okay. Let's check that out. Yep, there is one more kind of ingredient we haven't found yet. A delicious mango at the peak of ripeness. When used in a drink, it grants the drinker some resistance to damage. 
Okay, uh -huh. let's try this again. Yeah. Well, there were two places. Mango Rush, Mango Rush. Uh -huh. Mango Rush is a game in which you collect tough mangoes as they mature. Just takes a bit of force, a little twirl to harvest them properly. Easy peasy. There's a participation fee up front, but I've got a gift for you. I've managed to harvest a lot of them. Huh? Would you like to give it a try? Sure, okay. Type of seeds, would you like to use standard? Let's go with Vibrant. Huh? Vibrant sees it is. It only 10 rupees for participation fee. Is that okay? Uh? Great, head down to the field and wait for me. Huh? And let's try this again. These seeds sprout sharp thorns, but I'm sure no trouble harvesting. I'd like for you to harvest 50 or more mangoes. If you do, you'll get to take some home. Let's get started. For another perfect score. Thorns are interesting. And, okay, so it's presumably a matter of them sprouting the thorns after you take long enough. So you have to do them within a time limit. Oh, no, it's just the thorns are the obstacle. Okay, now I see. Now I see. Oh, and that's actually quite cool. You can see the thorns come up. Ah, now, now I understand. Okay, just gotta make sure we get up and get them all in time, and it's... The beds are working great for this, but it's not perfect. It's all about hitting things on time, and oh my goodness. Okay, well, I... Okay, and... Uh, oh, no, no, no! Because I messed up with the bed, I gotta do that again! Okay, well... More mangoes. Exquisite! I didn't think you'd be able to harvest so many from those seeds. Though I'd seen your potential. But thank you, I'll give my golden fan. I got that a long time ago from a dancing tournament. Ah, some quests then? You got a golden fan. It's holding this glimmering fan made of golden feathers makes you feel glamorous. Please take the tough mangoes you harvested with you as well. So what if I get every single one? I bet she's capable of harvesting the special ones too. Sure, it's risky, but those can be avoided, right? You have stoked the flame that burns in my wee researcher's soul. Probably a piece of heart there. This is nowhere near the true potential of tough mangoes. I'm going to develop something even more amazing. It may take a little time, though. Come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting for you. So it's probably a story thing. Story progress. Okay. A glimmering fan with golden feathers. Just holding it makes you feel glamorous. Yeah, it's probably some kind of quest. Hmm. Let's try that again. Well, there. Would you like to play some mango rush? Yes, please. What type of seeds would you like to use? Let's go vibrant again. See if that works. Vibrant seeds it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. We get all 60. What's huh? it gonna be like? Sprout thorns, sharp thorns, yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 more mangoes. We could do it one more time to get enough for every smoothie ingredient that could possibly ever involve them if we felt like it. We'll see what happens. And just continue spamming spin. It kind of tells you about how spamming spin is the best way to move quickly anyway. Sort of the accidental tutorial on the topic. Okay, cool. Spin and keep on spinning. Make sure nothing disappears, because you got. Okay, comes the dead hop up and. Oh, there's gonna be more up top. Just gotta make sure I don't miss them and. Come on, and there we go. I, just like that. I, spin, 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 and every single mango! Nice. Okay. So, in that case, exquisite. You harvested everything from these seeds, too. You were just full of surprises. Well, then, I was able to gather very, very little data. Thanks to you. Please, I insist you take this. Ah, and that's my crystals from there. Uh-huh. And please take the tough mangoes you harvested with you as well. So I guess we'll have to come back for the highest level 8 tough mangoes. So we got enough now. Come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting for you. So, and any new... No special seeds yet. Let's leave and come back real quick and see if that makes any difference. Hmm. The damage res is a cool effect. Oh, there. Would you like to play some Mango Rush? And special seeds are not available yet. Sad. So in that case, let's mark this place for later. Anything here? No, nothing yet. We've had west from you. We'll find yourself at Gerudo Town, my home, but we can't go back home until we finish our work at the rifts. But we can make smoothies with those mangoes now, which is exciting. Smoothie, please. Hmm. Let's see something real quick. Hmm. Where then is my final ingredient going to be? Because it's got to be enjoyable, but the question is what that final ingredient is going to be. Because there are the seahorses before the river horses. 
That does not mean all that much, necessarily. Much to think about. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll live. So, Mango and... Still just Mango, yeah. And the River Horse. Mango Horse. Got it. P. And the result of our trouble is... Just a rapid smoothie, yada yada. Get rid of that. Fresh River Horse, I don't care. We gotta start getting rid of some of my options here. I feel like those defense smoothies are gonna be pretty good. Fire... Uh, uh, we'll see what happens. And mango and grapes. Is this gonna be mixed fruit? I wonder if this might require... Mangoes might basically just be a potion ingredient only. It's very possible. Therefore, I need to get some monster stuff. And yeah, it's just another... Juicy smoothie. Okay. Grape smoothie. So... Mango and apple. Gotta fill out that... Fill out the... Smoothie decks, basically. And the result of our mixing this time is... Oh, finally, mango! Oh, it's got this cool checker pattern. You gotta mix tough smoothie. A rich flavor of variety of flavors make this fruity, pulpy concoction a treat for the senses. So damage reduction and a lot of healing. So clearly, since they're literally only accessible for minigame, they're good. Okay. I like that. This and a pepper. Right. It's ten rupees. And the result of this, is it gonna be a spicy one or... We'll see. Alrighty. And the result is a spicy warm mix special. Okay, we have some of those already. Don't really need those. Lots of energy recovery, no healing, so let's get rid of that. Hmm. Don't want to lose the golden ones at the moment. We'll see what happens. And this ends for nectar. That and cactus could be interesting. The golden eggs are kind of a limiting factor in terms of checking other options out. You got a sweet, tough smoothie. The texture of the fruit pulp combines with a foil scent and a sweet delight. So this is just better. Nectar's better than the apple. Okay. So in that case, we're gonna have to clear some stuff out next time. This and milk. Mango milk. Huh. Got it. And the result of this is... A smoothie. It's a, a milky tough smoothie. A study in contrast, this beverage mixes a smooth texture with firm fruit pulp. A lot of healing, too. I... Let's get rid of some of these potions. I... Yeah, that could be good, maybe, but... Let's get rid of this one. Okay, energy is something I just don't need. So, this and a cactus. Cactus mango. Could be interesting. P... B... B... And that's... Oh. Okay, just enough mixed tough smoothie. Mixed tough smoothie. Let's see. The mixed ones are not as good as the sweet ones. Okay. That and potato. I bet this is going to be crap. Maybe. And this is going to be... What? It's a... Oh, it's actually something decent. You got a mango climbing smoothie. A fragrant smoothie that owes its flavor to the sturdy fruit pulp mix into it, but we don't really need the climb speed up. Okay. And here we are. Mango and salt. This could be good. It does not seem like mango actually does not mix with things. Smoothie and yeah, it's salted mango. We got a salted tough smoothie. The striking saltiness brings out the pulpy flavors of this hearty beverage, but it's energy, and we don't need energy. Okay. Mango and butter. Butter. Got it. And, let's see. Result of that is... Okay. Just another mixed up smoothie. That and the butter. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I thought that would be a bit more different. Mango and pumpkin, then. This is going to be... 
And we've almost filled out the smoothie decks, more or less. Uh, we got a mango twisty smoothie. This fragrant smoothie has a memorable texture thanks to all the fruit pulp, so mango is just good with everything. Again, makes sense since it's rare and valuable. Mango and guts. This might. One of them has to be a pure defense potion, but it might not be this one. This is a. A tough potion. Drinking this potion prevents some damage. It masks its bitterness with fruit. Hmm. Bitterness with fruit. Hmm, so what can I... Mixed up is not especially good. I bet this one is going to be garbage. If the guts made that potion... The only one that gave two separate effects depending on which monster and green you use was... Peppers. This is going to... Be Garbo. Okay. And it's just going to be Mango in itself and... Yep, yep. Seems like the pepper has been the only one to get a two-tiered option, so to speak. And now it's mango and just mango. Tested everything else out. Mango and mango. Oh, there we go. Here we main go. Okay. And it's just gonna be a tough smoothie, I presume? And that's... You got a tough smoothie. Oh, so the diamonds are... Well, the triangles are basically supposed to mimic... The appearance of armor, I would suppose. That's fun. And a full-bodied sweetness highlights this pulpy fragrant smoothie, but of course mixing is generally a better option than just weaving it. Okay, cool. Go and try to kill those when moors. Alright. Let's make this happen. Hmm. Rifts over there. We can work our way to Gerudo Town, but... What was this cave over here? I... There was a cave here? Wait, huh? Must have fallen in, I think. Let's actually check that first. Just to make sure I know what that is. But the sandstorms will cease when I kill the Lamolvas. And we got a mini game running around, so. Let's go in. Probably gonna have to light those strangers eventually, but for now, let's go to the back and see what things are like. Let's take that Kraldala. Goodbye, Kraldala. Another Kraldala. And this... You know, if there was something in here, and I don't remember precisely what it was. This was... Oh, the Crusher Cave, right. I feel like... Kill and kill. I feel like chilling here. And we can just... Trap him there, and will you be able to hit him? Oh, no, you jumped too much. Okay. Hmm. So that's still a job for the sword mob one, is it? Wait. Or, no, it's a job for some kind of projectile. Let's just try our boomerang vorb one then. Oh well. It's like that. Ah, nice. And it multi-hit. Oh, that was really, really good. I like that. Hello. Thank you. Let's trap you. Boomerang. Oh, but it hits on the wall, so it doesn't return me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been in here already, but it was kind of fun, so. Flat boom, right? We have to come from the other side. There we are. I bet those boomerang board ones are going to be really good as an anti lamola option. We'll see. There we go. Put this down again and take this up. Right. It's a fun little puzzle. There we go. Come back. Yep, that was everything there was to see in here. I remember now. Okay, cool. Hello. Go back to the Oasis and our boomerang Borblin at the Wan Molas, which are over here. I unfortunately did get spoiled a bit on that. At least one of them is there, and oh, it deals away, and we're teleporting while floating. At least she doesn't fall. That would be kind of sad. At least a little. Oh, there, okay. and it's not every day I see another Hylian. Okay, and she doesn't change her dialogue, even though we already did that smoothie minigame. Okay. Cool. I and the sand's coming. Alright. Go ahead. Well, this. Kill. Oh, so it's better in the 2D, it seems. And it honestly seems like the boomerang vorb ones are as strong as the non-boomerang ones. That's fun. 
maybe I could, uh, if I was smarter, or at least a better position, I could move myself around, try to hit. Hmm, okay, the quicksand isn't just killing me, but it is impeding my movement. Come on. And let's drop you, and... Oh, we're sinking into the mud, so you have to spam jump. Otherwise, I'll just keep sinking. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. There you are. We're borbling back down. And... Ah, we did manage to get the return swing to hit. That's fun. Okay, come on. And one more should do it. Mm, that quicksand is a dangerous prospect. Go ahead. Come on. So we got some sand dunes. That's fun too. Okay, and there you are. Go ahead. We're on it. That can't get out. Couldn't get into the sand because of the sand dune the way I think it. And what is this? Buried in the sand, maybe. Something I can dig up or let's just put my mole in. Let's see. I have our whole mill and this. That did not do anything special. Okay. Kind of sad. And... Can we toss you... Toss our boomerangs at the piranhas unless it... Oh, we have to change our aim so it actually hits a bit. There we are. Positioning and... Where the land mullets are actually around here. I think. Come on. Come on. Pick this up and throw it. Bit of platforming. And, there to be something around here, right? Or, oh, well, there's a piece of heart right there. Hmm, how many pieces do I have right now? Not enough, but that would be another heart container right away. And I can't exactly see where I am right now. That's sad. I, did I go in that cave? I probably did, but let's check anyway. And... Yeah, I've been in here. I've been in here. Okay. Got more. Four blends. Drop you down again. And boomerang guys coming. Boomerang guys coming. And we can get the multi hit. That's nice. Ah, oh, but the piercing's actually a bit of a problem here sometimes. Hmm. Let's open that up, though. And that's a time to try the new bag. How fast will this heal me? I. Well. And you're stuck on the bed. The piranha's stuck on the bed. Okay. Come on. Come on. Throw your boomerang. And since it was angled down, it clinged on the sand. This is... What is this? This is... Okay, just peppers. Okay, cool. I suppose. Let's use our new bed. Sleep a bit. The soft bed. This is... Yep, it heals one heart instead of half a heart, which is rather nice. Hmm. Let's get the piranhas in here. Come on. Come on. Get over here. So if the one moles are here, I wonder when they're going to show up and what we'll make them show up. Maybe trying to get that piece of heart and it'll collapse or something. Okay. Oh, I almost managed to get the backspin to connect to for a slightly faster kill. Hello, hello. Come on, come on then. I guess we have to keep spin around here. We can squeeze spin atop the mod, which is fun. Okay, and baby stuck, that killed. And this killed. Rupee goes up so it doesn't disappear. That's nice. Come on, come on. I. Oh, but we can't pull you. Oh, that's sad. Throw your, throw, your, throw your boomerang. It's not hitting. That hit. That hit. Well, now you're dead. Oh, but it didn't die yet. It was stuck in its death animation, therefore it didn't actually disappear as it normally would. That's interesting. Huh. I could just use a club board one here then. Yeah, that'll be better. Alright. So in that case, what if I put a bed down here? What would that do? It... The bed will sink as well. Alright. Fair enough. Club board one. Keep hitting. Yeah, the jumping isn't an issue. It's honestly a bit more 
efficient in terms of attack speed than the sword and all, but level 2 wise. Okay. Just keep bridging. And here's our piece of heart. Simple enough. There we go, and let's make a land mola show up or what? I it didn't really seem like it out. Keep on jumping around here and hope that it shows up now. It does not seem to be the case, actually. So it's not this quicksand pit. Huh. That said, we have our wind cannons to disperse these sand dunes. That might reveal something. It didn't that time. And can break the tumbleweed, which is really cool. This is... Again, nothing. Okay. Hmm. Map won't work right now. And oh, another stamp just here in the desert. Okay. And that's the end of the fourth card and on to the final stamp card. Oi. Hello there. Is there stamp gun? So what's this gonna be like? Yeah. Hi and hello, stamp guy here. I've loved stamps since I was a teeny me, not the high rolls ultimate stampologist. Fill up another card, so here's that reward I promised you, and oh, just monster stones? Okay. I don't even know what I use them for yet. Still, I have so many. Finish your fourth card, amazing, big applause for this long lasting rally. You're a natural, you really are. Keep it up. Stamp perfection will surely be yours. Say, what is it about stamps? I mean, why are they so satisfying to plunk? As rivers flow and petals fall, as love holds youthful, youthful hearts in thrall. Stamps plunk, and that's all. I feel like he must have done a haiku in the original. Maybe. But while you ask who they plunk, just for fun. Stamp tacular, even. With that, here's the next stamp card. This is, ah, final, yeah, the final stamp card. This is the stamp card bestowed on true stamp rallying masters. The back is autographed by the stamp guy himself, but we can't see the back, can we? Maybe we'll flip over at the end. Okay, all together now, ready, set, go stamp rally. Stamps are out there somewhere, where could those last stamps be? I know my story, glad to share, stamp guy gets a lot of stamps, and it's the same thing he said every previous time. Okay, cool. And there's a bird. But where is that one mola going to be? Hmm. It's not here, it seems. Hmm. Well, alright. Maybe I'll go in again. See if anything new shows up. And we got a tornado there. Let's let our... Well, Club Board one is a bit faster, I suppose. Depending on the situation. It's interesting, again, that... Oh, they can go invincible, but it doesn't break them out of the bond. Anything up here? Well, we need to put a bed down first. Get up this way, and... We've been here before, and there was nothing then, and there is nothing now. Huh. Okay. Did I get this? I... Yeah, I did. Okay. But... Thought there might have been a land mola here. It does not seem to be the case. So I wonder what gives. Maybe it's just somewhere out else out in the desert, maybe roaming. I don't know. Either way, we'll find a way. Oh, and you're still here. Okay. Hmm. Let's round by. There, so we could go up this way, around that cave and Maybe we'll find something to fight along the way. That would be nice. It would also mean no more sandstorm. Been there. And we got Fernando there. I oh, rifts. That's not good. Okay, cool. Oops. And it's just Peace and Club Moblin. Okay. Well, at least it didn't kill me. I look dead and go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, trap and smack. A few more hits and oh please, you're not targeting the right one. And you were over there. Let's get you stuck. Mm -mm, but still invincible in tornado mode. Come on, come on. Where is that land mola? 
Maybe it'll be part of a quest. I need to do it. It just hasn't shown up yet. So I need to go into Gerudo Town. That could easily be the case. Also something about Cave of Ancestral Rest. I wasn't quite able to see at the moment. Hmm. And what is... Oh, here it is. Here are the one models. Uh-huh. Okay. Go ahead. So the... Oh, they spin rocks. Great. Actually, look a lot more like Link's Awakening Lemmas. I. Mm, I. Ah, we can pull you out of the sand and render you very, very vulnerable. I like that. And probably still want to call Bora Boynton, but now I see. That's a fun one. Also makes you a lot like a. Ooh, Mulgara kind of fight from Wind Waker. I... Come on. Keep hitting. I... Oh, you're not able to hit all that reliably. Mmm, okay. This thing out of the quicksand pit is likely wise. Okay, and... Pull. Pull. Get you there, and... This should do it. Hopefully. I... Un if, unless you're unwilling to actually try attacking, which... In that case, I may, might be better off leaving it to the Moa. It'll be slow progress, but still. Always see what you can grab onto, and there we are. Pull you over this way, and... Ah, uh, you still basically say stock. Interesting. Okay, and... Ah, uh, okay. You have the right angle to it, otherwise it just won't hit at all. Huh, okay. Interesting. And... Grab the... Oh, it's just gone now. Ah, uh, if you stay too far away from the quicksand for too long, it'll... Probably get all its health back, I bet, too. Oops. And... Got you over there. Let's... Pull and... Mm, we were too distant. Okay, now we can... Pull you over this way. And this should be good. And... Come on, shoot in the right direction. That hit. Come on, I... Ah, but you're... So slow. Okay. I'd say still, that's a good opportunity to grab. Okay. And pull, pull, pull. There we are. So where Mo is gonna be our companion, which we otherwise couldn't get on Mount Haverin. Three shots per vulnerability period is real good too. Alright. We're gonna come out through here. Oh, that's could be nice for me. It's like, no, no, I, I hate you. Legitimately. Well, like, I'm so finicky. Okay. Go ahead. Shoot. And one more. Can you get... No, no. It's the first one bounce off of its tail. Come on, come on. You in there. And rocks, rocks, rocks. Oh, there we... Let's try to hit. Let's try to actually hit that, please. Come on. And I... Let's jump out of the way before I die. But... Oh, you were feeling your targeting, and you only got one hit off that time. Dumb. Okay. Let's make sure we fall you back in the direction you're going. There we go. This is, should be decent, and... I kind of hit the squirming tail. Well, now it's dead. Now it's dead, and that's no more land more. And my reward is just rupees. Okay. Quicksand's gone, and Sandstorm should be gone, too. Right. Hopefully. Nice! This mini-boss that you can just go around if you go around the rift instead. Can't avoid it if you feel like it, but why would you? So what do you have to say now that the Lawn Mole is gone? Anything? Incessant sandstorms are caused by Lawn Mole, so if we can find defeat it, maybe they'll solve the sandstorm problem, yada yada, okay. And nothing to acknowledge my tremendous accomplishment, but what can you do? I can complain, that's what I can do. Well. And uh, there we are. Twelve board one. Cool. Hit. And just hit. Nice. Thank you very much. And that's over there. We want to stay away from that rift. Here's the town, and some quests in there, but I, I'm actually going to go to Jabal Waters now. The towns are what I will leave for later. 
And another scorpion. Do not go in the sand. Let me kill you. Cool. Portion of wall over there. Mm -hmm. Get over here. I've already been around this way. Where I took down that Fernando first, basically. It's around here. Maybe it's gone now, but we'll come back to Gerudo Town later. Yeah. That way is nothing of note, but there will be lots of quests here. And not a well. Okay. This will be back. Soon Hyrule Field is over here. This is more or less where I stopped beforehand. Getting over this way. Water over here, but a little less watery over this way. Hmm. This is a waterfall, I think. Okay, well. Going to Seaside Village, then. This might mean getting the water block, which would be nice. Water block echo, which is arguably the best way to climb things vertically. But the bad bridge would still probably be best horizontally. Well, as in, it's other than using a spider. Okay. I've already been here, I think. Let's just see. We can put down our funny bomb guy. Come on. No, over that way, over that way. Right. And... Ah, the... Armadillo took notice. Yeah, but this is... Where I paused before. Something might be under one of these rocks. It's happened in the past, so... Make sure that there's nothing under and... A snake. Hello, snake. Go ahead and die. Then we'll trap you. Do this again. And another hit will do it. There we are. Pull. Pull, pull. 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 And... Oh my goodness. Pull. Mm -mm. Pull. Pull. And... You're over there. And we gotcha. Yep. Keep it still. Perfect for any kind of single enemy fight. Anything else this way? I wonder what else I'll buy. There is going to be stuff in the Druid shop. Let's see what happens. Uh, not that one. What are you doing? I should just be grabbing directly and pulling like that, but let's see what happens. Okay. Around here, this is the way to the village. Okay, cool. It's a Zelda, yada yada. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, and crabs. First I've seen of them. Okay. But also, there's this little area behind where I got those mob ones before, but we can come back. That's fine. And I. Goodness. Oh, that was a quick kill. Sidestepper or. And the sand crab echo. So that's up for Mario. This crab like monster attacks with its powerful claws that skitters to and fro. So, like, mobility is probably what limits it then. Oh well. Go away. And that's. Oh, some kind of kelp? This is. You got bubble kelp. Underwater breathing? This item can be used to recover hearts, but it's more effective when mixed into a drip, and that's our final ingredient. That's fun. Items and. Oh, that's. First, okay. An, an especially flavorful seaweed when used in a drink, it enables the drinker to hold their breath longer when underwater. Yeah, so we've gotten all of our ingredients now. Cool. Let's see what options we have to make with the ingredients we have. Hmm. Sort of pushes you in a specific direction. That's fair. More of you. I. And. Okay, you can kill that urchin, which is good. Pull the crab out of the water. Oh well. Oh, but it was close enough that the claws were hitting it. But it wasn't too bad. And. 
Like right there. Take you out. Get the crab out, and there we go. Make this happen. Don't get hit yourself. There we are. Come on. And okay. Hmm. Go in to activate this teleport waypoint. Oh, an abominable wall! Okay, fun. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp your using the map. Yep. Oh, and probably remarking on that. No, this is just Java Waters. It's the intro cutscene going here. Oh, another stamp. And if there's a job, well, I imagine he'd be there. Maybe abducted by the rift? Probably. Hmm. And... We need to find a spot where I can make an entrance into one of the rifts. How about we try to find the giant rift I saw near here and search there. That's the Jabal Waters Rift. Orange Rift has appeared in Jabal Waters. We'll be able to create an entrance to it somewhere. Try searching around that rift to find the spot. Okay. And that's over there. Oh, yep, right by. We'll pass that waterfall. Huh. Let's... Not like that. Like that. Get inside here. With that rock, but mostly this... Oh, okay. Just a chest. Alright. Just rupees. And not that many. Hmm. Side village in Zora Cove. Remember seeing that... This game has both kinds of Zora, river and sea. I think this is where the sea ones are, because it's both seaside. Here we are in the hello. This is a real mess. Never heard of word Jabu Jabu. Oh, it's Jabu Jabu. It's... Oh, okay, so it's like the Oracle games. It's just another Jabu Jabu. Maybe even the same, actually. Word Jabu Jabu acting like this before. He's out of control. Word Jabu Jabu. From Ocarina of Time originally. Oh, hi there. Welcome to Seaside Village. Word Jabu Jabu is a great spirit. Lives in Jabu Waters. Mm. He's usually quite calm, but he's been on the rampage lately. They're Kami, more or less. I think it all started when a rift appeared in his den. His den, yeah. for a while. It's okay, we're where Jabu Jabu rests. We're flying across the bridge to the east. Can't miss it. The entrance has a specific design. Zelda. That might be near the giant rift that I spotted in this area. Okay. Where Jabu Jabu has been running wild since the appearance of a large rift that Tri saw, you can find this great spirit's den. Somewhere beyond a bridge east of the village, the den may be close to that large rift. Ooh. Hi there, welcome to Seaside Village. We're all a bit scared of what's going on. Or Jabu Jabu, and Rift is Zen, Jabu Jabu. Said that before, okay. It's Den, also heard that before. Cross the bridge east from here if you want to see it, and search up that way until you'll find an entrance that really stands out. Farewell. Be careful out there, you too. Well, there's sorry to say, we're not in the most welcoming mood in our village. If you're going to Jabu Waters, be careful where you step. Easy to get in over your head. Path will take you to Crossflows Plaza, that's where it ends, Crossflows Plaza. Find a bridge to the east cross, you'll soon find yourself at Crossflows Plaza. That's where the Zora gathered, before we reward Jabu Jabu, the Zora, the Zora will throughout Jabu Waters, and they're split into two groups. Which is the village, one is in the sea, the other up in the rivers, visit them if you're curious. Another stamp! Four more in the whole game. Anything newer? Okay, got it. Might want to just relax here, though. The Zora will seem to be on edge lately. Hmm. Bubble kelp could be interesting again. I wonder where the caves are going to be around here. We can chop the flowers. I feel kind of bad about that. Well. Up and around here as well. Maybe. What is this? I imagine that there's going to be a lot of underwater stuff in the dungeons. Probably. It's over here. Hmm. I think I want to go south first. Probably go around that bridge. Jabu Jabu. Large rift somewhere beyond a bridge. Crossflows Plaza is where they're trying to send me. So I'll go anywhere but there then. And you are? Was that see when Lord Jabu Jabu attacked all of a sudden? I barely escaped with my life. Attacked. Yes, I was on the waves, minding my own business, when he hit my boat hard. I've been too scared to go back out to sea ever since. Huh. And we got a shop here. Is he coming home? Hello? Hi. Lord Jabu Jabu wreaking havoc. Our village has a few customers. I miss having visitors. It's just sad on top of more sad, because we can't go out fishing on our boats either. Hmm. 
And okay, just potion. Seaside Village Shop, welcome. Is there anything I can help you with? I'll take the chat. Welcome to the Seaside Village Shop. As Mzor told me, that rifts have appeared around the whole Java Waters area. Where it's dangerous to get close to the rifts, dark monsters come out of them. Hmm. Okay. Nothing new here, nothing right now. Is your time on? I wonder how I'll get up higher in the water. There's that one cave where I had to swim against the current. So I'm wondering how that'll work. Probably go inside this houseboat. I'm so, so, so bored. They say I can't leave the village because it's dangerous, but I want to go have a Zora and a Zora. Zora or the Zora, some are up in the river and others out in the sea. They all play music great. Oh, and their chiefs are always squabbling. Hmm. And talk to you later. So bored, play with me. Aww. What's in here? This is just a guy. Octorok plushies. Soldiers came here looking for that princess. What's her name? Yeah, me. Guess she escaped him, huh? Wonder if he got a reward if I turned her in. Not telling. Bubble kelp. Probably gonna be a business scrub in here somewhere. Oh no, it's a small. It's tiny. What do you have to say? Who is maybe coming home? Hey. One of the nice things about living here is that I can hear the Zora perform nearby. And the sea Zora play music that's graceful, and the river Zora play with a little gusto. Seasick all of the time, the Zora music helps appear orb a little better. And so, what do you have to say? Is he coming home? Mm. Son of mine always doing things his own way, isn't he? Uh. Oh, didn't mean to grumble that well. My son Anube hasn't come home in a while. That boy's surely sleeping in the woods in the north again. Why'd I bother making him a meal? If you're heading that way, could you take some grilled fish to him? I'll get it for you way right there. And. Oh, nice. Oh, an echo! Sorry, I know it's a lot to carry to him. I really wish you didn't make us go to all this trouble. Well, it's very to tell you something really important. There have been hungry monsters lately in the woods where he naps. Watch out, so you could probably use this to take it over. To distract them. Just let me know if that grilled fish goes bad. Thanks for delivering it. Grilled fish echo delivered grilled fish. Mother in Seaside Village asked you to deliver some grilled fish to her son Anube. Somewhere in the woods north of the village. If you're back, I'm guessing the grilled fish for my son went bad. But then we'll get you another one. Oh, so is this echo going to go bad somehow? Alright, it's ready. Good thing I stocked up so I can make another. My son should be in the woods north of here. Let's rub and take this grilled fish to him. Watch out for these hungry monsters. This. We're in the grilled fish echo. This perfectly grilled flaky fish can instantly entice certain monsters with its irresistible savory aroma. So we can pick it up or we can just make an echo, I presume. I feel like that's definitely the sort of cutting the Gordian knot here. Alright, and what can I have? Moa can go underwater, right? And unless you miss. And that kills. Alright. Let's take this chest out. Thank you. This is USA Red Ruby. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Can't really go under the dock, it seems. Does limit how much I have to check out then. My crystal right here in. Can go under there though, it seems. It's another. 46. Do you wonder how many are left in total? So I've already used about 25. Like 100 would be a logical number for them to have. Who knows? Let's see. Out of there. And... Hmm. Let's go around the water. Go down in there. Don't really need to worry about the kelp. I wonder if chopping this could kelp. I guess it's just a rare drop from crabs or something. And, well, we got Blue Ruby down here. That's fun. Suppose. Oh, it just drops from seagrass you can cut. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's look in this cave. What is stuff around here and a shipwreck? Okay. So what is this? Got more zoles. Hello. Ignazole. Oh there. Hydrazole. Oh, so this is just a cave with a bunch of kinds of zoles. You're still very resilient. Oh goodness, I... You're just... Autumn. Okay. 
Jumping attack is useful. But you can even get knocked out of a jumping attack. Okay. Advances. Hard to stop. There are two of you. It's difficult. Okay, so the prep work you have to do for that club attack causes some problems sometimes. High result might be interesting to try to use underwater, and that rupee's gone. Yeah, okay. Gonna come around the other side, I imagine, and... Oh, but a buzz blob would probably be very effective here, maybe. Try the Ice Octo. How's that gonna work? If I... Mm, can go underwater, that's right. Let's put you down here. Go on. Oh my goodness. You're tough underwater. I... Huh? Okay. Hopefully this should keep you in check, maybe. I'm kind of stuck on that. Go ahead. You shoot down. Not really. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Let's try that one more time. Can they not shoot while underwater? That might be the case. I... Try some other things. I wonder if a spark could go down there. And, yeah! Oh, but no damage is done. Okay, well. No one can make this happen. Took long enough. Come on. Come on. I... Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep shooting. There we go. More you. Nice and long range. Good kill. It... Seems like most things do tend to just drop a rupee. Fair. And we'll need fire in here. We could have the MOA do it. Yeah. Oh, it's not much more damage, but we can let the fire spread for fun and for profit. Help there. Okay. Now keep going in. Replace that mole with a mole that isn't actively burning to death. Okay. Cool. We need to make our own fire. It! Not not on purpose! This is not my choice. Come on. I Hydrosol could work. This'll work too. Okay. Let's break these pots. This'll get me back to the entrance too. More kelp. Fun. Four. Okay. Let's put the Ignazol down and that'll not open that up? Wait. Huh? Oh, do I need to burn? I think you need to let everything burn. I mean everything burn. Okay, well. Fire will come back. Ignazol or no Ignazol. Just gotta let the fire spread so that everything burns away via fire, I think. Actually, no, we need to put Ignazol down. And I... Okay, cool. Water will help me. Let's rest in a good bed. Thank you. Let's let the fire spread, and this should, hopefully... And now I actually have to do the job of burning it down myself. So if all the grass is... leaves behind a charge rail instead of just breaking like did before... Hopefully this should open those doors and give me something of note. Hoping. Oh boy, lots of kelp around here. That's good. So it's 17 in total to make every kind of smoothie it needs, and then it's a matter of getting up golden eggs. And this also did not open that. Weird. Maybe I actually need to extinguish the torches. Maybe. And that was what did it. Okay. Extinguishing the torches. Okay. This is back where we came from. And here's our treasure. Which is, oh, it's a piece of heart. Cool. And that's another heart container. We haven't done a single dungeon past the first. And that's 24 pieces of heart collected. Wow. Okay. It really does make me wonder how many more dungeons there could be. So I imagine that in some of the mini games that I haven't been able to 
do all the modes in because they've been locked by story progress or going to reward a piece of heart eventually. But so now is a good time to explore this little ridge. Sure. So we've gone around to the other side. So we'll see what's here. Answer is not much. It seems. Come on. Hmm. Over this way. Hmm. This part over here, this part over here, everything that was behind. This place where I initially got that sword mob on level 2 echo so long ago. It's almost nostalgic. Almost. So, and is there anything in here? Try digging. Hmm. Oh no. I wouldn't imagine there's anything, but there we go. Hmm. This is probably nothing, but it might be a mind crystal or something, so it Okay, it was nothing. Oops. Go back up. Is there a spider? Thank you. That's... Yep, just more of the river horses, which I don't need. Over here is... More nothing. Hmm. Probably need to find a way to get around. The side to go to this ridge over here, because... Might be water that I can't really reach stuff from. Maybe, probably not, but you always want to check. Over right here. You can chop the flowers down, because we're cruel. But, again, there was a rupee. Maybe it was worth it. Maybe. And, as we'll keep going around this way. Over the hills and far away. Around that patch of earth, which is too big to actually be something that would get anything from digging. Over here, so actually we didn't have to do any climbing to get around the way. Right. And this is just sort of the part between Faron Wetlands, which I've already been through. And what is this ship up with? And oh, I. that a Georg? But that's a Georg. I. think. If I can use the Ice Octos, just keep you still. That would be great. I. okay, come on. Oh, goodness. Go ahead and. ooh, nice! We can keep ice in you. Maybe. Yeah, cool. Shoot, shoot. It seems like some kind of cooldown, maybe. Yeah, probably. Come on, shoot, shoot. There we are, and this is, I believe, the Georg. Yep, we're in the, no, it's the Chomp Thing Echo. This jagged tooth bullet rules the water, chomping and spinning with a slap of its tail. Ah, so this is our, presumably our new best underwater option. Okay, well. Go for it. Takes you down, takes the urchins down. Wonder if there's any kind of... Well, we got algae. I mean, kelp. Yep, and this is how we'll get kelp, presumably. It's not hard to get to. Makes sense, because they want you to be able to access it to stand our water longer, I presume. Here we are. At nine, good. What is just golden eggs holding back smoothie dex completion? Chomphin is pretty cool and I guess it is just a probably non respawning big rupee that's just there. I. Could you destroy that rock? It doesn't really seem like it. Okay. Let's see what happens if I blow this rock up. Come on. Come on. And. Nothing special. Okay. So rift here. Mark of this. I'm gonna need to clear out. Bunch of markers soon. 
Yeah, lots in the desert. Okay. Drop down. Pots of kelp. And I know I've got the scope equipment still. I did not hear about that. The thing that comes to mind when I hear about the rock is something that is frankly deeply unflattering and it's that he has a no losing clause when it comes to appearing in movies. That if you if you want him in a movie, he's not allowed to lose. And okay, anything up here? It doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. People have talked about various WE guys trying to become actors afterwards. It's a bit in character, frankly. I meant that with all the insult, but he... Apparently Dave Bautista, though I think he might have been MMA. I get them a bit confused, it's not my area of expertise. My dad used to occasionally look at combat sports sometimes. So if it was MMA, he'd know more, but... Apparently Dave Bautista, he was in the Dune movie. Apparently he's legitimately a good actor. Or so I've heard. Oh, come on. I'm gonna trap you in here. Let's let the MOA do this. Well, it... The main thing is that you don't have to be funny about being an actor as long as you're a good actor. But The Rock is... A bit bigger than his britches than he probably should be. And the Albatroll Echo. A patient hunter of the air, this monster can suddenly dive even into the water to catch its prey. Oh, that's fun, even in the water. Well, we can send our shark buddy down to kill the pufferfish. That's simple. Go ahead, will you chop the grass? It does not seem like you're eager to chop the grass at least. Okay. Well, it's not like it has to. It's not its job, anyway. It is working within its job description. Yeah, that's the thing, is that he isn't really even acting. Whereas Dave Bautista at least tries to be a serious actor, from what I've read, and actually tries to get into the role. And it isn't just a personality vehicle, like it often is with The Rock. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of all these pins and get rid of them. Okay. Move. 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 It's more like this massive rift. Will be interesting when rifts show up in places I've already been because I did things out of order. It's going to be fun to see how they react and how things change. But apparently you can't actually you can't actually get inside the desert temple, which is sad. Tower of Hera is completely gone, but you can go inside the eastern temple, which makes me wish you could go inside the other one then. Yeah, exactly. It's a different kind of acting. It's different sets of strengths. And generally, it's always deliberately very campy. So most of them are not exactly, even though it's not generally comedy in the traditionally understood sense, most of them aren't exactly doing anything dramatic either. Come on, take the shark out. Yeah. I'm not saying that what they do is easy, but what I'm saying is that it doesn't necessarily translate all that well to screen acting, even though it's tried. And that means that those that do make it work are all the more impressive for it. Okay, so the Zora should be over here. Hmm. Okay, so, oh, the grilled fish is over there. Hmm. I wonder. Jobble stuff. Hmm. Second. I hear a phone ringing somewhere. Oh, just a second. I'll be right back. Yeah, some people suck. Generally.
I'll get back. It wasn't phone hunting. It wasn't a phone, it was an iPad that I borrowed from my dad. So it was more just giving it back to him. It wasn't hunting. I knew where it was. I just didn't really think. Forgot that I probably should have given it back to him. That's what happened. So, I... I wonder how I'm gonna break this rock. Maybe some sort of heavy press kind of thing that I can just drop on it, maybe? Well, actually, let me see. Can a plat boom go underwater? And it can go underwater, but it doesn't break that. So I wonder if there's some kind of underwater bomb enemy that'll need to obtain and avail myself of. Interesting. Set a pin here then. Hmm. Oh, and pfft, back on the Zole for some reason. It's interesting. Zora Cove's here, and the ocean is out this way. I don't think it works like that. I don't think it works like that. I regret to inform you. I, I know you'd love to hear that. For some reason. But... Either way, we have enough kelp. Let's open this up, and just a red rupee. Okay. It, there, there's no fart button in this Zelda game. It's not like I'm playing Wario and Smash. Got this. It might be an automaton, honestly. I can destroy blow up things underwater. It... You, you want a fart button in every game, don't you? I swear, I can't with you sometimes. Oh, well, more kelp. Five pieces of bubble kelp. But again, it's not like they're in short supply. Oh, we got jellyfish. This feels more like SpongeBob. The question is how I'm going to take them out. Probably Octoroks then, and... This is where we cannot go any farther out. It does look like the sea. Hmm. Ah, and another stamp is just waiting here for the tanking. Three more. I probably should finish them today. So I'm really wondering what the reward is going to be, and again, whether this mountain area is accessible or just blocked off. Hmm. So, I wonder, is the, would the Fire Octos even survive in water? I don't know. I haven't actually brought them out at all. A lot of enemies I haven't really brought out. And yep, they only live in lava. Okay. I... the Moa might do a better job anyway. It said they're electric elements, so they might be immune. No, they're not immune. And they're weak. Okay. This is... We're in the B react Oh, nice. Electrically charged, this floating creature zaps an area around itself. Its field reaches f further in water. Fun. To mark another destructible underwater rock. Okay. So, the big version of the Beery is the berry. Not like from Pokemon. Maybe a little like from Pokemon. Maybe. Okay. Go ahead, keep shooting. Very fragile. As long as we have a projectile, they're good to go. Okay. Go over. Ooh, I. Alright. Oh, damage. Not good. Let's see what's in this underwater cave then. Maybe I actually talk to that Zora. Maybe. Come on, come on. Cal. For those who care about Cal. And that's me. It seems. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, that son of mine, he's always going in this cave to pretend he's an adventurer. Maybe I could have mentioned Genshin, and then he would leave. But it's not safe out there with Lord Jabu Jabu running. Well, what's a mother to do? Check this cave then. So where is Jabu Jabu then? 
Maybe. Honestly, I wonder whether it would quote-unquote be better for people who care if Ororone was a 4-star support or a 5-star DPS. Because I guess the ideal for people who like him, myself included, would be 5-star off-field. Especially because that would mean being able to use him a lot for a number of things, because he'd be able to hold the new set, which gives you pretty crazy element buffs when the holder triggers a reaction, especially if they're not one. That would be fun. Hiya. I'm on a treasure hunt, but don't tell my mom I'm here. Zuma, we can exit through the bottom. It's gonna be new here, then. Hi, right, let's send our chomp thing there. Fun. And... Yeah, fair enough. I understand your areas of expertise. And it's just more help. Okay. So I maybe if I had used a rapid smoothie or something. Oh, and oh, activating those coral fans lights things up. Oh, fun. Well, it's because it looks kind of hot topicy. Oh, we can use this for light. Okay, cool. That's fun. Oh, but you're strong. Relatively. Rupee bear. This is... Oh. When the Tangler level 2 echo... Oh, with light. Lighting up its surroundings with a head-mounted lamp. The scowling fish charges straight ahead. I actually get two of them there. And yep, having actual light in here is nice. Keep putting them down like lanterns. The Pokemon. Not really. Actually, kind of, yeah. What are we gonna find in here? Could've come the other way, but... Presume we wouldn't have light that way. What is my reward? Who? Is that someone from Fairy Tale? And it... Seems like it was just... To get the light? Maybe. Or, yeah, just to get the light, it seems. I wanna try going back. Uh, I'm sorry for not being intimately familiar with every piece of weed media you are. You have an advantage being Italian. It's not a fair comparison. Come on. Oh, wait. Okay, nothing new there. So I guess it really was just a matter of, okay, find your way through, get the light, find your way out, maybe. I wonder if any comment would occur if I left the other way, so to speak. Maybe. Okay. Italy is one of the great weep countries. Alongside Indonesia and Brazil. But frankly, your reason is worse than the other two's reason, so go ahead and be ashamed. Go up. And here we are. Anything new to say? I guess it was literally just Tangler level 2. Yeah. Okay, well. I hmm. wonder if they'll have anything new to say after we cure Jabu Jabu or something. Hmm. Let's dive down. That way. But the big thing is that even if they probably intended to make the fact that, you know, for example, Corin is an on-field DPS. So if you use her, you get to see her a lot. But it also means that I don't really use her a lot. Because there's a lot of competition in on-field DPS characters. Whereas Chevros is a four-star support. You know, a really great one. But... That also means that, one way or another, it's using a lot of teams. Though, to be fair, it's also just because I use Arlequino a lot, and the team I like using with Arlequino is a team that uses Chevros. I wonder if I could go through that waterfall. Probably not. I've done it now. Oh, I really stepped in it this time. Don't know how, but I need to open shop probably kelp. Maybe owe you a customer. I'm grateful you dropped by. The smoothie shop isn't open yet. See around at the bubble cow, because, well, it doesn't matter why. Not sure what to do. It only grows in the sea, and seawater doesn't agree with me. 
Yep, Deku Scrubs cannot swim. I don't suppose you got three pieces of bubble kelp you could part with, got him. Bubba bubba bubble kelp. Can't thank you enough, you saved my bark. Set of skin, I learned my lesson. That's the last time I snack on ingredients. Now I'm pleased to announce that the Zora Cove smoothie shop is open for business. Thank you and celebrate the big day. Here's this. Just for about a rupee, you got 20 rupees, excellent. Let's spend all in one place unless it's zero. It feels like I've turned over a new leaf. And we did that already. Went straight to filling it out. It means I didn't get to see the initial flavor text, whatever. If I'd wanted to, I could have just said nope and lied to him. Gave the business scrub some bubble cups so the smoothie shop could open. The scrub promised not to snack on their kelp anymore. So they're welcome to the smoothie shop. What do you have to chat about? This is... Let's chat. There's a huge amount of river horses and bubble kelp here, both great for swimmers to eat. Put those in a smoothie, you'll be darting through the water like nobody's business. The name mark against this place, the big spirit running amok. Wish I'd known about that before I came here, it's scaring off my customers. Okay. Let's make some more smoothies with this. That in itself, because it's actually the first ingredient listed. Huh. Teensy pinch of, alrighty. So once I got a, well, I already made the golden egg one with a river horse, that is true. Smoothie, and this is, got a bubble smoothie. Won't be able to get enough of this bubbly mixture of scrumptious flavors. Dive time up. Hmm. This and a horse is... It'd be cool if it had both the effects and it was just an all-purpose swim smoothie. Probably not. And... Got a... Just a regular rapid smoothie. I... Might actually... Got too many drinks. Yeah. Okay. I think I'd actually like to go back and check... One spot where I could do some teleportation. I mean, some swimming. Maybe? It's over by the bridge. Okay. Where swim speed might help me get past an obstacle. Possibly. Alright. Go ahead. Gotta keep you still. Thank you. Over there. Hit him. Thank you. Mm, got rocks. Teleport point. And a woman is right there. Probably around Jabu Jabu. Waypoint has been recorded. Can now work using the map. Yeah, okay. Hi. Dub time up is not what I need right now. Rock salt for those who care. And let's blow this up. Cool. And reward is nothing that time. Cool. How do I want to do this? This cove is more or less the one spot in these waters I have not been to yet. But I do want to figure out what is going to destroy those underwater breakable rocks. So the only thing I can really think of would be maybe when I get the ability to use the swordsman with bombs again, they'll have the ability to detonate underwater? I can see that. Hello. Oh well. well, there are you out exploring if you happen to be looking for a village simply at south of here. No, probably not. For the island that's top of the central of Fishtail. Hi. Okay, cool. Same as before, might want to mark that to see if it comes out again. That's a new dialogue after we solve their problems. It... If you want a burping and farting game, make it yourself. Come on. Take the bird down. Oh well. Shoot the bird. Underwater bird is interesting. Well then, I guess... We'll never get that game. How sad. And jump him. Hmm. Those are also the tanglers. Right there. Go back. Take him down for me. Thank you. I think that's another Zora. Of the water. Okay, cool. Hmm. It's over here. The up that rock. So this is more or less where we went around. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh, I got coral. That's cute. 
How are we going to get inside? Probably diving. Hello. See Zora Village is really close. Some south of here, Old Morton, you're sure to see it. It It's okay. You can tell the truth. I won't hold you in any more disdain than I already do. Okay, just a purple rupee. Let's try digging in the center of this. It looks a little suspicious. I'll be honest with you. Okay, in that case, I'll hold you in even more disdain. Are you happy now? Oh, wrong way. Oh, this... Is this too hard? It's too hard for them to dig in. Huh. Okay. Oh, that is clearly... Clearly a my crystal. Yeah, yeah. Good thing we explored all the water. Don't worry, I had no intention. You won't get to laugh today. Cry instead. Here we are. How many more? That's our 47, which means we've gotten 72. Hmm. Well, there you are, I suppose. And this will all clear up once we've done the dungeon here, I presume. Yeah, it... Yeah, go ahead. Tell me why you watch me again. There is that. Here is Zora. Oh, well, oh, and a teleport point. Fun. Oh, there. Stop being afraid. Hi. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I'm impressed you were able to swim all the way out here. You have missed our village. If so, find the entrance down there. It... Say what you're going to say. Now warp here using the map. Alright. You would give Sonic a shower. Hello, Zora Village. See Zora Village and that just sells kelp. Look at whoop! That's fun. Look in the Seasor Village or Underwater Paradise, near to the Jabo Waters area, where the Seasor are the Zora that make our home out here in the waves. And you? K Chief Kishara and the R River Zora Chief are having a big tiff. It's going on forever. The longer they squabble, the harder it will be for them to make up. Sad. Oh, probably arguing over why Jabu Jabu is all freaky freaky. And obviously it's because of the rifts. Probably Ganon then. It's Red Potion, care for something? Nope. Let's see. Oh. Welcome to anything I can help you with. I'd like to chat. Our leader, Chief Kishara, has her full love and respect. I'm confident that she'll resolve these troubles with her jabu jabu quickly. Well, nothing right now. You know if you need anything else. Anything we can do in here right now, or. I'll zora everywhere. Well, music and soda is a great spirit, or jabu jabu. That's why we in the River Clan get together and offer music to our jabu jabu. But right now, it's behaving so wildly that'd be difficult to stage a performance for him. Okay. We go in there. We're in here. Can, can't get under there, really. Oh well. Our Jabu Jabu is always great to see with his blessings. We take excellent care of the sea, so why would he go wild now? Riffs. Um, guess what? My friend went off on a play adventure. When I stay here, I want to play too. Hello, Chief. I adore Chief Kushar. I have so much respect for her. She's right there. She's perfect in every way and always looks out for her clan. The sight of her inspires me. Right. It's one rogma. It's one problem after another. That large rift and or Jabu Jabu's behavior too. Perhaps my first step is to send a tentic to or Jabu Jabu's den to look into the rift. Oh well. Kishar, it's beyond belief. Or Jabu Jabu went wild at the same time that huge rift appeared. Mm. So much at once chief that rampage alone is hard to fathom. He's never done that. Indeed, that's why we should proceed carefully or we can make things worse. Let's first put a stop to Jabu Jabu's erratic behavior, but in time we'll need to investigate that rift and where Jabu Jabu's den. Mm. Beyond belief, yeah, yeah, okay. That just all repeats. Cool. So, I'm gonna go to that cave up over this way. Hopefully, that should let me work things out. Maybe. Hmm. So I might have 
What is this marked over here? What is dig meant to be a diggable spot? It's clearly not. Whatever. And, yep. He was over there. We can see if I can make my way past the current with all the swim speed potion. The fins might be better, maybe. Okay, let's try this out. And we got a rapid smoothie. There we go, and I- Oh no, that does not work. Some faster, but that does not. Let's get past that. Huh. Oh no, that was the ice area. I was getting confused for a second. Let's go and make more smoothies. All right. I do wonder what that shipwreck is going to be eventually, because it's got a hammer on it. So I wonder if we could pick it up eventually, return some tools to someone. Hmm. Let's make a few more. Hi there. And let's make more. Stuff with the kelp. Kelp and the grapes. I got it. I really do wonder, is there going to be something, maybe a half-off discount? Well, actually, we're almost done. Got a mixed bubble smoothie. Very blend of exquisite ingredients and bubbly waste with plenty of umami, so I wonder. The egg mentions umami, too. That ends. Apple. It's a very pretty smoothie. Yeah, once we get more golden eggs, we'll be able to just complete the smoothie decks. Another mixed bubble smoothie. Rid of that. Don't really need the dot time up. And the pepper. Mm -mm. It's one thing of milk. Mm -mm. For smoothie. And oh, it's crap. I plan to. An unfortunate smoothie. Yeah. And this and the full nectar. Got it. And the result is probably a sweet bubbly smoothie. And oh, it's crap again. Awesome. Oh. Surprise event. That milk. Bet this is gonna be garbage, frankly. And the result is a, a milky bubble smoothie. A mellow effort bursting with nutrients and umami, you'll want seconds of this one. But not the others, apparently. And cactus. Okay. And, and... I wonder what a permanent source of golden eggs might be in. Cactus and kelp. Yeah, I can see that being pretty bad. Okay. That and potato. Ooh. That? It's basically soup. Mm. This is... Okay, um, another mixed bubble smoothie. Okay. Let's get our potion. Leave that. And salt. And... Because the only recipe is I'll still need to make after this. Or combinations I'll need to test. More accurately, it'll be ones involving golden eggs. The salted bubble smoothie. This unique blend of bubbly and salty will have you coming back for more. Hmm. That ends butter. Thank you. And. And. It is just a radiant smoothie. We have various sources of light now. Give me goodness of the smoothie. We'll have it ignoring that it glows a bit. Doesn't bother me. There we go. And. So it is. A. A pumpkin bubble smoothie. This pumpkin smoothie surprises you with tongue tickling bubbles. Mm. That and the guts. And if you get rid of something once the potion comes. And this is. Oh, okay, so the potion comes from the thing. Okay. So then, let's mix that with mango. Stuff. So if I'm running out of his eggs, milk, and river horse. 
This is just a regular mixed up smoothie. Get rid of that, make the final option. Final thing we need to see, which is our diving potion. There we go. Cool. And maybe a bubble potion? This is a... Got a bubble potion, yeah. Drinking this potion helps you hold your breath for longer. It is bubbly and bitter. Great. And so, yep, it's just... Eggs. Maybe a bit of milk. I mean, milk and a bit of... Milk. Number of eggs. Maybe one river horse. Not because I need to make anything new with it, because I already made a golden bubbly smoothie, but... So I can mouse over everything and prove that I've made every combination. So if I just put down an echo of the meat... I hope that'll work for feeding that guy. It might not. It would be funny if they didn't. And we got company. He's over there. Boy, the hungry monsters. Hmm. Crossroads Plaza, the rift, and that's where the rivers are. Okay, cool. And you're gonna try to run away so we can trap you in place. The spear guys try to get distance. We're not gonna be allowed to get distance. Alright. Let's clear the way. Oh, there. Get stuck. He's up there and he's sleeping. Okay. Huh. Alright. Alright. Around that way, maybe, but I do want to try going at crossflows. Check our quests. And yeah, Java Waters Rift. That goes up to. Where? We're no longer. Mark on map and. Oh, it's just telling you to go to crossflows. Okay. What's in here? Oh, River Horse is fair enough. Yep, so that's good and done. Mm, I had a lot of other ingredients before, but I sold most of them just because I didn't really need them. I needed rupees more at least at the time. No, I don't need rupees anymore, really. Alright, we will echo to him. Hello. Oh. Zzz, Mom, where's my snack? Let's make you grilled fish. Here we go, eat our fake grilled fish, sniff sniff. Mm -hmm. Smells good, but not like mom's. Oh, okay. Ah, so yeah, you have to get up here. Let's make a bed bridge. Imagine. That could work. Do some jumping. Need to come back with the meat. Ah, so you do need the real genuine article. Otherwise, the quest will not complete correctly. Fish escort mission. Escort fishing. Hi! Yeah, it didn't go bad. We just went away. If it went bad, it was right in front of you. Okay. Cool. Take this, and we can't spin. It's just a matter of... can't jump either. Hmm. In that case, I... Wonder how this fish trip is going to go. Presume we would toss it this way. Maybe I. Yep, can get up, pick it up again, but the question is going to be getting it up top when. Hmm. Can't walk up that way. Cool. What would. Take it up. Flying tile, or...? No? Some way to lift it. I imagine putting in water to lift it would break it. Oh, I could... I'm gonna trampoline the fish. Let's see. I... No, I think... What needs to be done is just using a bed bridge and... Tossing it up. As we go up the beverage. Okay. Now I see. Okay. 
Whiffed. Bro, and oh, that goes apart. Now he has it. Sniff, sniff. You know, something smells amazing. My mom's grilled fish she came all this way to bring it to me. Thinks I'm starving. Time to dig in. Can go home now. Crispy, salty, juicy, perfect in every way. This grilled fish is the best. So is my mom. Oh, cute. Delicious. My tummy is satisfied. Tell my mom thanks. I'm gonna get in a nice piecemeal map here. Map here and deliver the grilled fish to Anube. He ate on the spot and then went back to sleep. Just report back to his mother. Is he gonna stay here or is that gonna bring him back? Rumble, rumble. Mom, no tingles are gross even if you grill them. I presume that's not what she grilled them. Right. Block off. Mark the edges of the rift. Demarcate its boundaries. Its area covered, more or less. Okay. But I don't think those mountains are going to be accessible, which constrains things a bit. Means that I suppose I don't have to go as far around. Because this gets blocked off, and this does not go all the way up the map. It's a bit of variance. So we deliver the fish to Fish Boy. Is he coming home? I hope. Did you deliver that grilled fish to my son? Thank you so much. Oh, he went back to sleep after eating it. That boy, I swear he spends the entire day just sleeping or eating. Uh, sorry, just thinking a lot again. I'll give you a reward for your, get you a reward for your hard work. I'm grateful for your help. Please take this and oh, just kelp. Okay, about ten pieces of bubble kelp. We'll leave some grilled fish here too. Take as much as you want. Ah, uh, for the echo. Anube's mother was surprised that her son went back to sleep. We already copied it. So thanks for making the delivery. She said you were free to take some of her grilled fish. Oh. Over there, talking about not being able to boat. And if I grill any fish, I'll leave it here for you. Take a hunt whenever you want. Honestly, that son of mine. Is he always napping so much? Who knows? Kill him, I guess. Hmm. Up over here. Come around, back around this way eventually. No big hurry. Do things somewhat in intended order then, maybe. Maybe. This a cave. It's not. At least it doesn't seem to be. Alright. Hmm. Go over here. See if there's anything new to say. Now the quest is actually complete. Probably not. Bridge, bridge. Hello there. Rumble, rumble. Not okay. Same thing as before. This will get us down to the plaza over that bridge. Figure things out. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Cross flows plaza. So I'm under the bridge, and we can't even go under it. Okay. With mm -hmm. a waterfall. Yep, this is where we were meant to go. Talk to you and see what you have to say. Answer is... Hi, I've come to visit Crosswest Plaza. Got a question, Crosswest Plaza. Crosswest Plaza is where all the Zort and Lord Jabu Jabu come to be together. Sea Zort and River Zort are joined here to play music for Lord Jabu Jabu. That's how they ask him to keep watching over these waters, but lately... Lord Jabu Jabu is on the rampage and the Zora Chiefs are squabbling in the worst way. It's all gone wrong since that giant rift appeared in Lord Jabu Jabu's den up north. Hmm. Come to visit Crosswest Plaza. Okay. Jabu Waters has always been such a quiet, peaceful place until all this happened. Until... Another dude. Have to go up a bit farther then. Probably where he is after we rescue him. Imagine he's probably just in the rift. So let's go a bit farther east and go up that slightly darker ridge. There's this way up. There's also this stuff. Hmm. Check that out then. Hello, Mr. Sam Crab. Cool. Bubble Kelp. And, oh, well. Can we go up here? It seems like this is where it gets blocked off, so. Could just climb up that, but. 
presume we intend us to go the other way. Oh no, that's blocked off too. So this is where the constraint starts. Okay. Keep on spinning. This is just the beginning. Okay. Can I... What is up with a lily pad, though? Oh, we got tektites in the water. Not fun. I... Mo would be a good option here. Oh well. Maybe. Actually, they're on land. We could warp on them. Okay. Come on. Get me up this way, and well, alright. Trap you and then let them know it. Oh, well, actually, how well would the shark do it? Let's see. Oh, but that's. I swear this wrong. Last year's shark. Okay, shark. How are you gonna do this? Oh, and it is even stronger than level 2. Oh, Moblins. Well, that's fun. The grass here. I think I was cutting something down. But, no my crystals here then. And the lily pad isn't collapsing because I'm standing on it, which could have been fun. Get in here. Both of you. Alright, we can just let you handle it. Very good at moving in water, too. Expecting a bit more trouble, frankly. Alright. Oh, so it's very sunken in. That's fun. Yep. And that's just blocked off. Alright. We will send more sharks at you. Okay. Go ahead, you can't jump or anything now. Now you pay attention. Thank you. There we are. My question is anything else in here? These river waters. I wonder if there could be some kind of racing minigame in here eventually? Maybe. Uh, the right orientation. Let's see any sea grasses. Oh, but there's a challenge with the dude. Okay, Acorn Man. Alright. See how I can maybe get this stuff done. Jabu Jabu. Oh well. And another teleporting point. This waypoint has been recorded. Yeah. Now Warp Fury is in the map. Try getting inside now. Maybe. Hmm. It's a giant rip that I spotted earlier. Let's investigate. Oh, it's right to the dungeon, or where Jabu Jabu's den? Okay, so it seems that we can just... Can we? Or, wait. Giant switches. Oh, we need to make the Zora friendly again. They can activate the switches together. Okay. They can open an entrance there, but it's past the door. And make the rift entrance back there. Let's go farther inside, Zelda, but I can't. I'm not intangible. Oh yeah, looks like this place got swallowed up bad by the rift. Hi. Hmm? Hold on, who's this? Uh. Bet you came here because you're worried about where Jabu Jabu, huh? Oh. Very cute for River Zora. They made them kind of ugly in earlier games, but now that they're more friendly. They're cute and they're ugly in a cute way. Cute in an ugly way. You know we are? He's been running wild over the place since this rift spread in his den. Yeah, we got here fast as we could to see what's going on with him. Uh -huh. Oh, you want to get in his den? Uh -huh. To open the door, the chiefs of the River Quent and the Sea Quent must play music here together. The River Quent, we're in the River Quent, you know us being rivers or in all our villages north of here, and he should visit us up river sometime. Uh -huh. Anything else you want to know about the River Quent? The Sea Quent, the about the Sea Quent. Uh -huh. Sea Quent are all sea Zora, as you might have guessed, they're Zora who live in the sea. The village is south of here, an island with a huge fish tail sticking straight up. Mm. Anything else you want to know? No thanks, so... Yep, ah. so that's what we'll have to do to get in the dungeon. If you want the chiefs to play music, you'll have to go to each village and ask them. But um, we're in a hurry. Shovel the large rift, you found where you can create an entrance into the large rift that's on the other side of a door. The only way to open it is that the river Zora chief and sea Zora chief play music there together. Ah. So we're dropping Jabba's dead, but we can't get back there right oh. now to open the door. The chiefs... What you doing? Uh -huh. I'm watching over at where Jabu Jabu's den, the sea clan, and the river clan take turns doing it. It's from the river. <laughs> Cheap sort of each other's gills, but the rest of us get along pretty well. 
Thank you. She's sort of squabbling lately. Those two won't perform together anytime soon. Rift appearing, more jabu jabu being on the rampage. All that's going wrong, and our troops are squabbling on top of it all. Oh, it used to be peaceful around here. Can't activate that, so we'll come back. Hmm. Let's just spin our way back out. And we can maybe start chatting with them. Maybe. A lot of spots around here. Just over the plaza. Hmm. See how we can get around the area. Definitely spider our way up in here. So we'll do that. Not like that. Like this. Okay. So I can do it before opening the dungeon. Hello! Hey, hi, and hello, acorn gathering. Give the go, but the snag on the bag. Gathering acorns is never a drag. Got the acorns, yeah. Let's see how we do it. One try for 10 rupees. I'll be 10 rupees, please. Hooray, time to gather. And that's how many? Ooh, tectites. Frightening. I probably need to jump onto there. 40 seconds, good luck. Bed bridge to get on that. Clearly. Okay, and... Jump down there, and... Make sure we avoid the ones that aren't currently in the water. And oh, that was really... I yeah, that's already lost cause. Oops. Oops. Come on. I got that at least, so... The others are where? There's one here and one down in somewhere. Oh, come on. Where's the final one? This is the last one. It's... Okay. Slightly submerged. Okay. Let's try that again and not... It messed up with a tech tank. And a red rupee. That's right, you got all the acorns, and your time was low-ish. That pays for the cost of playing it again, and then another. Okay. So each of them has a one-time prize. It's different. So, we better try that. Alright. Time to gather. First time it was golden eggs, so... What are the hidden time? Goal is even. This should do it, and now we can come down here and try that. I, no, we screwed it up again. Already screwed it up again. I hate. What the hell? This is stupid. Okay, it's just using the. Oh, and now he sends you. He doesn't teleport you back. Well, that's obnoxious. Whatever. Well. you got to bridge over from one tree to the other. And that's easier said than done. Heal up in the hot spring. Okay. At least we can just teleport here. Could always use that bed, but... Mm, probably about the same speed. I wonder if there's a bed that heals even more. One and a half or maybe two. Mm -mm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try to get that prize. It's just the tectites are so annoying. I wonder if there's ever going to be a three-long echo for bridging that I can get. That'd be nice. Well. Nope. In the end, the spider's better anyway. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we are. No more of you. Oh well. And you should be done. Okay. And talk. Let's try this out. Try this out again. Okay. Get that special prize. Might be eggs. Maybe. Okay. Skip. And go. Two. One. Go. Bridge. Bridge. Jump. And. Bridge. Over there, and now we can hopefully get them all, and dive surface. Final one is just over here, and that's under 16 seconds. There we go. Cool. There are a couple more rounds that are pretty annoying to get. We'll see what happens. Your time is 15 seconds, 0.19. You're amazing already. Right that's price time, and another red ruby, recoup that cost. And, while well, that was lightning fast, so fast in fact, we got this special one-time bonus. 
And oh, silver. Got 100 rupees, you're overjoyed. Are there gold rupees in this game? Come visit me again and play some more. Actually, I don't think I will. Sorry. So, what is over this way? We got rifts and oh, interesting. Okay. And actually walk on here. All right. I wonder what enemies are going to show up from this rift. Maybe tektites. That would make sense. Hi, do you see me? I'm around here. Oh, goodness. Whatever. Is there... Well, yep, there was a treasure chest up here to reward my poking. Mm -hmm. Nothing over there. This is... Horses. Yeah, it's just regular horses. Alright. Let's put those out in pretty generous supply. Huh. I guess they presume you would use them more than I have been. Oh, we got some of the beery. Okay. Shadow beery. Oh, and it died in the water. Okay. Come on, come on. Keep shooting. Thank you. We just gotta make sure you don't touch them all. Huh? You are resilient. Oh, wow. This one might actually be the bigger one, the berry. Maybe. Not quite sure. We can work our way around here, possibly. We'll see if the crawl will work here. If all this fails, we could put a bed down for the crawl to have some land to start from. Because this is. No, this is still shallow enough to walk on. Huh. So, go up here. Show me something interesting, and, well, that didn't work. Oops. Oh. You. Drop me over that whip. Right. Any caves or anything here? It does not seem to be the case. Oh, this... route is completely blocked off. Okay. Well, I see the writing on the wall. Or the rift on the wall. Suppose that would be more accurate. So keep going around the intended route then. Against my will. Okay. Over here and then jump, that works. Okay, and back to this teleport. Yep, this just blocks off this way entirely. Huh. Pass the den. Ooh. This is where the caves are going to start. This is where I can go back down this way without feeling like I'm missing anything. And we got more anglers. Send a shark down. Hello. There you are. Rupee. Rupee. And are there going to be any shadowfish soon or something? Maybe. A bit of a kelp this way. Zoom away is another way to get the algae. Come on, come on, and is that... Ah, stamp! Okay, yeah, I... Should be getting to the end of the stamp rally today. And I really do wonder what the final reward for all of my pain and suffering is going to be. Here we are, two more, two more. Mm -hmm. Probably around here then. Maybe a... Seems to be another waterfall here. That would make sense as a sort of location to have one. Because similar locations have had... Oh... Stamps in the past. Okay. Up around this way. Zora River, Zora Cove. Yep. It's both Zora, but they're different kinds of Zora. Alright. Thank you. More fish. Come on. There, oh, a fish spin attack. Shark spin attack. And sharks are fish, but... Never mind. So, we got you. Let's take a... Well, Borbon in and... See what I can get from this cave. Hmm. This is... Oh? Do not disturb the bomb fish. Oh, so that's what bomb fish. Uh huh. Now I see. 
That's how we're gonna do those rocks. Come on. Go in, go in. Okay, so it blows itself up, but we still get the echo. Nice. When the bomb fish echo. This dangerous fish explodes at the slightest impact and is capable of breaking weakened walls. Okay, so that's more directly a bomb compared to the zero. Costs more. You can't really use a combat then. That's nice to have. I can go back and do things now. Including in Pharaon, but I think I'll do that later. Danger, do not proceed past this point. I don't care. Let's put this fish down, just barely enough to use. Boom. Boom. Takes a bit. Come on. Maybe just go in and touch and blow up. Fun. And, well, Shark is still going to be, be a better option here. Probably. Because it takes a while for the Bombfish to actually detonate. Mm -hmm. Up here, go down. I think I have to do a lot of detonations. A bunch of exploding rocks in that cave where I got level 3 with Zolfos. Oh well. Oh well. Ah, oh, so if we spin into it, we can make a blow up. Okay, cool. Here you are. Go ahead. And, oh, did that make it go off early, or? Not sure. Oh well. Hit. Hit. And... Nah, that was just a normal explosion. Alright. Bombfish. Thank you. Uh, damage me? No, it won't. Good. Now we're over this way, and... Ooh, okay. Alright. Send the shark at you. Cool. And... Luckily, they're not aggressive, actually. Interesting. Let's just stay away. Ah, so we can make them home in, like, torpedoes. With enough effort. In the right situation. Get some air. Come on, come on. Thanks. Oh, but that makes it spot me, but we can just spin away fast enough. What's the reward gonna be? Other than just having access to the bomb fish, which is very, very nice. Especially since I bet I could use them to blow up Deku Baba's. Okay, well, I... Hmm. Clearly it's fire. Pink. Fire will do it. Yep! That was that easy. I had to break it, actually. Well, I could burn two, I'm assuming. Oh, golden eggs! A single golden egg. Okay. Huh. There we are, and switch. So we're back out. Cool. Uh, apple that I don't really need. Okay. Here we we got our bomb fish. I'll be going back to the cove anyway, so I'll wait for that until to blow those up until I'm already going back to the cove, I think. Oh and you jumped over and I got hit. You're useless. You're fired. Stuff bad. Still only need one half heart of healing, but fair enough. Cool. Any tingler in there. Hi, hello. And I... Alright. Alright. Sharks can do shark things. That's okay. Come on, come on. And what else is here? I... Still hit them! Right! Gotta hit them from the shoreline. So this area appears to be more or less optional. To see what's there. Then. More of those flies. Here's our teleport. Hello, River Zora. River Zora Village. Okay. This waypoint has been recorded. Can now warp here using the map. But first, I think we'll go around this way. Cool. Mm -hmm. Some things are cleared up soon. I mean, I'll be able to get rid of pins soon. That'll be nice. Soon. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
it's like this. Grab all those waterfalls. I wonder what they might have to sell. No, they sell flippers. That's what the Zora sold in Link to the Past, after all. And the only Zora in Link to the Past were River Zora. Rock salt. Okay. Blue Rupee. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a cave there. We'll go in. I see Jabu Jabu's rampaging, but we can't even see him. So plainly, we have to step on the crate and then wing to the other crate, carry it with us and drop it down on the other side. Or I could probably put something down to step on the switch by just conjuring it on the other part of the bars, but it's more fun this way. And I, what? Okay. Come on. I, okay. All right. Okay, then. Not expect that. Let's make this work then. I come on. And what? What? I, okay. There we go. It just snapped on, which was cool. We're out. And it'd be funny to try to break it. No real point, but I guess. Let's just put a zero down to bomb it. No real reason. I- oh no 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 I- there we go. And what if I cannot swim against the current? Hmm. I- on the other side. There we are. Blow that up for no reason. There we go, and it's cow that I can't get, but I also don't need. I- okay. So then... Probably... Stack some things, put another box behind it, maybe, or no, 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 not like that. Get on top, put a box in front of it, so that we can make bridge of sorts when the time comes. Yeah. Just a bed would be fine. Basically, it's the same thing as a table, but ooh, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna take a steps, do a multi-step process. Maybe, probably. Let's put that down there. And I, okay, jump up and jump and. Well, actually, you can just as long as you can jump at all. That did it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't need to break these crates. I don't need to. This something kind of like this in Mario Odyssey. So clearly, the way this works is you. Drop it in and pick it up again. Pull it back. Gonna be a chest, I would imagine. Think so. Hmm. Well then. Okay. Gonna be some kind of extension to my tri abilities. Maybe. Or maybe what I have to just do is pull it up and over. See that too. Let's. Yeah, I ought to hold in place and probably send a crawl to oven over. Maybe. Hmm. Depending on how high that is. We'll see. Let's try this. Alright. Mm hmm. Well, that's there and that's oh, annoying. Let's see how well I can. Line myself back up. This might do it. Maybe. I... Uh, guess it's echo interference, maybe. Mm -hmm. So how could I do this with the echoes I still have? Because I currently have. Some way to blow things around, maybe? Huh. Kini's wall passing, but it's not the same as being able to just send it over. Hmm. How can I direct you? Maybe like this? I honestly don't imagine. The big Kini might flip a switch. I can see that working, but 
to get something on the other side with my range being as constrained as it currently is. It's gonna be like pulling teeth. It has to be some way to direct these things. Maybe. Does any, do any of them have good enough pathing to just find their way to it? Probably not. It's something amphibious that can actually hit a switch. Maybe just a tech type? I could see that, actually. With a tech type on the crate and... Maybe. Before that, there was... Another thing I thought about. Didn't see it, but I have to have it. Just thinking. Not you. Go on water. Oh, the big guinea. That's right. Big guinea. Send the big guinea over. See how well that works. Come on. Come on. Okay. And you're on the other side. Well, you've just gone through to the other side anyway, so. No big whoop whoop. I. Come on! Why is. So tough to target the guinea? So I could just whiff and throw you, maybe? Try. Come back this way. Okay, I. This? Nope, you can't activate the switch. Huh. It's a way to basically just get the tectite to go over to the other side. Aww. I think tectites could work. Maybe. Try putting a sword mob one on there. Try. Some try and. That could do it. If you can make the jump, it might be able to press the switch using the other crate as a targeting object to have it make the jump. Yep! Get over. There we are! Okay, that's how you do it! Little friend on the other side. This is a silver rupee. Not bad. Interesting puzzle. It's an actual logistical challenge. Also to see what enemies line up with other enemies, because the scorpion and the beetle are also sort of in a tectite family, so to speak. Okay. Hmm. What if some of those would be good? Some of those rocks. Yeah, I think I'll blow up those rocks now. I'm in the area. Mm -hmm. Use our bomb fish. Zora are here too. Continue our trek. Okay. Thank you very much. Already exploding. And this is. Okay, just might or. The other one might be a piece of heart then. Or it might be might. Crystal. My crystal. I keep confusing it with Master Ore. Now I've got 73 collected in total. So I really do wonder. I feel like 80 or 100 is a logical number for it to stop at, so to speak. But we'll see. Time to blow up the other one. This one might be a piece of heart. And this berry. Beery. Wonder if there are berry then. Zivan, hello! Hi. Ah, okay. It's a targeted missile. Okay. And right over there. Now you're doing your thing. Well, that killed that. Did not kill that urchin. And yep, this one is a piece of heart. It's a bit more defended, so it makes sense. Cool. And that's... Collect four. We're already at ten hearts. Been at ten hearts. The game still basically has not started yet. <laughs> well, again, it's more that we've taken a very rounded up and orthodox path through the game that it involves doing everything we can in the overworld before we actually progress the storyline, but still... It's fun this way. Mm -hmm. 
let's try some crawl towards shenanigans, maybe? That along with a crawl to a summon can do it. Alright. Foot on that water. And here- oh, we got someone else bombable! So these ones are a bit more obvious than Death Mountains. So if I'm been a Death Mountain, I mean, oh, Volcano, this would be another way to blow this up. This is, okay, it's just a chest this time, yeah. Probably the reason it's more obvious because they're just chests. Got a silver brooch. And wear this high quality jewelry to make rupees appear a little more often when you break objects or defeat monsters. Well, I don't exactly need that. Really, I don't. So there's stuff over here behind the village, and also more of these to mark. So there's this little ridge sort of thing around where the snow mountain was. Hmm. Alright. Well, we're getting more accessories. More equipable equipment. Well, to be fair, that is the funny characteristic of equipment being equipable. At least you'd think so. So hope so. Oh, Red Ruby. Ah, oh, just chilling there. What monsters are here? And oh, more of the Spear Moblins. Okay. I'll let you Spear Moblin. Okay. Alright. You will. Do our best to avoid the annoying ones. I okay. Oh, hit. Got hit. Come on. Whoa. Jump. Hit. Oh, goodness. That was big damage, too. Come on. Come on. Kill the important one. I. Oh, sword mob. Ooh, my goodness. I, oh, my goodness. Come on, come on. Come on. Kill, kill. And... Got you out of the way. I need more hearts. That said, I do have plenty of fairies, but still. Oh, well. Hold on. Oh, but I can't put the bed down until... Oh, that's right. You're not going anywhere. Come on. Distracted enough. Cool. Open this chest. Thank you. Now, rupee. Again, it's just... Don't really need rupees for much anymore. Cap's probably 999, I'd guess. This is... Oh, my crystals. Cool. Okay. One-time thing, and now we've gotten 76. I'd say it's probably 100, then. It makes sense. Still got... I think some of them might be in dungeons, too. Let's see what upgrading even is. I like that when it rubber really hits the road there. But we have our much better bed now. Better. Okay. Hmm. Rifts are marked. And should check to see what this actually is. It can't be anything of serious note, but still. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Killed up. Crawl to a time. Over there. Another rift to mark as well. Mm. Said it. It's generally very superfluous. Here we go. Over here, and this is where the bomb was, right? Yep. Brooch. Kept going this way, we could get to the mountain again, but I don't have any reason to really go there at the moment. Okay, so this... So now that's marked off, and... Okay, nothing really there, but yeah. But wait, did I go up here? I don't think I actually ever went up here. Let's actually check that real quick. So I couldn't drop down there, and I think I just... Oof. Okay, and we're freezing, but we can take the hits. Here we are. Funny if there was just another stamp up here. I can see that. Fuse the brazier for this. Okay, and... So it's up over this way. I might have been over here. Oh, there's just another piece of heart. Okay, got a piece of heart. Kills us two. Nice. That's two out of the required four for another heart container. 
fun. Nothing over there. This is basically the game's consecrated snowfield. To an extent. Or I guess. Oh, and the Wiz Robe actually can respawn. Ah, did not know that. But there we are. Left to that and. Be back around here then. Hmm. Stuff around this way. I guess I could just climb up it. No, we'll go this way. Go from here. <clears throat> I think more pictures taken of the Zora area are going to be necessary soon. But again, there's also that tree. It's clearly conspicuous on a weirdly colored patch of earth right by the starting area. Still wonder what that's going to be about. Not bad. Thank you. And crawl away. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, come on. Out of the way. Hopefully the moblins won't be back. And... See, yep, they're not back yet. That's good. Walking around this way. Get up. Rupees? Okay. Not really needed, but still nice to have, I suppose. And... Hmm. Hmm. Over here... And we got, uh, more of the flies, and that is Deku Baba, Baba Bait. Let us trap you in place, put down a fly catcher to eat the fly. Yeah. Digestion is fun. No drops from that, but it's not like I really need the drops anymore, do I? I don't. Hmm. Let's crawl up here. That's just the way back to the Eastern Palace general area. There is still stuff over here. I didn't really touch. No, it's mostly this, I think. I went up here, yeah, so it'll just be this little bit. And then I think we. Just this tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Okay. We have somebody to kill. Mob ones for us. Okay. Cool. Nice. Got that going. But the jumps would probably allow it. Allow the club board when you take out the flies, too. Come on. Come on. Here we are. And. Mmm, you're too. Too high up. Kinda, kinda. Okay, no, the jump attacks. Yep, the jump attacks do make the difference there. Okay. And what you up to? Mm. Okay. Alright. Another rift, which again, presumably should not lead to much of anything. Maybe we'll mark that one in the middle. Sure. Okay. This could be a stamp. Like, around here would be a good place for another sort of final stamp, maybe. Uh, one of the two final stamps for me, that is. And probably I can come up. Thank you. I said they designed it so it's relatively easy to deploy it whenever you would need to. This is a bed across. And... Anything over here? This is just... Where that guy is. And is he awake now? I think he's awake now. No, he's still asleep. Never mind. Good things never happen here. Okay. And oh, that's definitely a dick spot. Fun. Got that mole going. But so Gerudo definitely seems to be the place we're intending to go first, which is really interesting. That's not normal. The desert to be sort of the first place you're intended to go. And, yep, more might crystal. Now we're at 77 collected. We can just check that with the map. And yep, 77 might crystals. So, over this way. Hmm. Should be something. Right over here. Keep chopping the grass. 
Yeah. Looks a bit like an arrow, but not all that much. Rock, and is that... Did I do anything with that rock? That might also be a more crystal. Actually, taking me up there is more directly where I wanted to go in the first place. And, okay, I already got that then. Okay, must have. Grabs, grabs, grabs. Over here. So suppose then it is just rivers or village where I'll go next. Okay. Well, I got to chop down some poor innocent flowers who had done nothing wrong. So... Up, around, and through here, then. Hmm. I have to see where I can go while the rift still persists. It would be funny if it blocked up a single stamp, but I think there's probably one up here. And how it's positioned. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Let's, in that case, get rid of my... Uh, there are markers and well really all I gotta do is take a picture of the map well it's got the rift still on it frankly well I guess shipwreck other stuff yeah cool move remove move Mark like locations where Zoras are to see if they get new dialogue when the air is cleared out. I do wonder what this mansion is going to be. Maybe Deku Palace? I could see that. Move, remove. And go in the Zora Village. Reveal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teleport back. I really would like stamp completion today. That'd be fun. Oh! I didn't even notice she does that little pose, because I've never stopped after a spin. Alright. Alright. Hmm. I'm excited for the special mango game. It goes down there. Around a bit before we go into the village. Ooh. Loop around what we weren't previously able to get to. And I hope we find the two remaining stamps. Maybe. The funny thing is, is that getting smoothie ingredient drops is probably better than rupee drops in terms of farming money, which. To be fair, I don't really need to do anymore, but still. Depending on what is remains available to buy. Well, Boomerang would be perfectly fine at taking the flies out, wouldn't it? It's right there. And... Oh, it's... Maybe slightly weaker? Maybe. Oh, there. Hi. I just go ahead, get tossed out. And... Ooh, okay. Get stuck. Toss it, toss it. There we go. Cool. wonder what other Echoes will have level 3 options. I don't imagine the Borables would have level 3 versions. Got a level 3 Sword Moblin. I wonder if there's even a level 3 Spear Moblin. I can honestly see there not being one. I feel like it could be tough to balance between being too good and useless. Hello, River Zora. Ah. Welcome to the River Zora Village, where friendly hellos and good times flow. At least on normal, old Jabu Jabu has gone berserk, now we're all just scared. Ah. Okay, he just repeats that, yeah, okay. Now the caves around here are probably gonna get... A lot of stuff is gonna get revealed when Rift goes away, I would imagine. There's a store there. Hello. Java Waters has been full of trouble lately. I like to eat my favorite foods at times like this. Gotta keep my spirits up. Fish. And... Check this out. 
And, ooh, flippers. Oh. Welcome, how can I help you? I'd like to chat. Ah. Always nice to see visitors here. My shop's open despite what's going on. Oh, that huge rift and more jobby job. It's acting so wild that it's hard for me to go out and restock. Got a good image right now. This will be fine for a while, hopefully. This is ah. Zora's flippers. Flippers that resemble Zora fins against some faster while wearing them. Those are Zora's flippers. We have only that one set. They're valuable. I'll buy them. <laughs> That's an accessory. You got Azor's flippers. These flippers resemble Zora fins. He's faster at wearing them. Yeah, it's already. Ah. Got lots here, so look around. Yep, accessory. Well, equipment. Flippers that resemble Zora fins. You can swim faster while wearing them. Huh. What's going to be in there now to replace it? Anything? And it's just purple potion. Okay. Yeah. It seems that every time there's a unique item, when you buy it, it gets replaced with purple potion. Yeah, fair enough. And oh, baby River Zora. That's adorable. Little wizard man. My friends can all swim, but I can't do it. I really want to practice, but the water is kind of scary. Mm -hmm. Really big rift opened up recently, and we're jumping jump is dead. This den is in a cave down the river. It's got some bold designs inside and out. Get worried about all the strange stuff lately, like Lord Jabu Jabu being out of control. Something in there, clearly. So we'll get that, and what is this? It's... Okay, just a red ruby. But, of course, you can get inside here by... Old bed. And... Oh, huh. I'll make that jump, or... I need to bridge that for a bit farther away to make that jump. Get enough heights. Come on. This should do it. And let's see what's in here. With that for something, maybe? It's just rock salt. Oh no, this just goes behind. And oh, that's just how you move around in the village. It goes on the waterfall. And that's fun, architecturally. That's cute. Over there, over here, and then two less bits, and that'll mean a completely filled out world map, too. It's funny the stamp guy just showed up and the final stamp was just congratulations for filling out the world map. That's wishful thinking. So, I can't go up a waterfall this clearly. This isn't Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Definitely the Zora Chieftain's house over there. Oh, that's big. Okay. That's going to be another one of those caves we'll have to come back to later after the rift is clearer. Clearly. Which it isn't yet. It's not clearly yet. And I- can I dive in there? Let's see. This... Yep, yeah, there's gotta be something. Maybe. Right? Or... Hmm. I guess not. Maybe it's just there for flavor. That's cool. Because in Link's Awakening, there was a river zor in a house, an invisible river zor in a house. And it... Oh, okay, and there are rupees down there, so sometimes there are things. Sometimes. This time there were just a few rupees, so... I guess I just took her life savings. Oops. But there was a pool in a river zor's house. An invisible river zor you need a magnifying glass to see. You couldn't dive in and go around it. At least not in the original. Maybe in the remake. I'm not quite sure. But either way, it was interesting. But they're seemingly playing off what was done there before. No one in here. This is... Hello. Hello. Something bad's, something bad's gonna happen with all these rifts, I just know it, and they can't return to our waters before it's too late. Okay. Anything I can take? Nope, nope, nope. And she was looking at me. Knew I was up to no good. Yeah. Sorry. Not really. Hi, Zorkit. I want to play music, too. Boss of Drad says I have to wait until I'm a grown-up at Drad. Our chief is at the end of this path. So that playing music is a sacred duty, and little minnows like me can only watch. Yeah. I'm growing faster, so I can play music like Boss Rad, where's the way farewell, so it's changed slightly. Oh, I want to be grown up now. Oh. 
Because technically we should know who he is now. Because they just told us. Dive down. Thank you. Gotta go back through here. And oh, it's got the Nehru symbol. The Zora symbol, which is an incomplete Nehru symbol. So I wonder what that rift is currently blocking off. And it... Oh, hello. Hi. I don't want to go down there yet. I wonder how I'll get over there, too. Probably bridging. Oh, well. And, hello. All these rifts everywhere. I just want calm to return to Jabal Waters. Well, when, when can I just go on a good stroll again? Hi. A pop and I found this rift on a walk. It doesn't look that dangerous. Can't I touch it a little? I would not advise that. I'd advise against it. It's another separate one, it seems. Where can I get to? Get up on the trees. Water isn't all that queer, so... I don't think they'd hide, eh? Goodness. I do not think they would hide a cave in there. Hopefully. Oh, come on. This is in here. If I fell down, I'd probably need to teleport back, frankly. Maybe. Rippy, rippy. Down here now. Hmm. That's a rock in there. Okay. Hmm. Put up on top, it probably mean. Light crystal. Presumably. Let's do that. Fun. Here we are, my crystal, and it actually. Was I here already, or. Maybe the mic crystal just doesn't spawn in until you get rid of the rift or something. I could see that. Because they wouldn't expect you to come here. Before actually removing the rift. Maybe. Eh. The way what's down around here. Go through that bit of water to see what I might be able to find at the moment. Sort of back the other way. This is... Grass. Okay. And it's just... Rocks without anything. Do want to mark that again. Get up on the other side, where we couldn't go before. Fun. Take this diagonal and see if we can... Get anywhere new. Hmm. Get up on that retaining wall. I can get around things then. Okay. And here we are. Can't go over there no matter what it seems. Get up here though. Okay. Hmm. Where is my... Stamp going to be? Final two stamps. Can't really jump. Can actually jump around it. Huh. Oh well, I'm not interested in fighting. Oh, river crab. Ocean crab, river crab. Okay. Huh. Probably one here and one there. I bet. Can't reach the other side anyway, so nobody's marking that really. Come on, and could the shark swim this water? It can, actually. Okay. Bomb fish. Blow this up. Cool. And, oh, it targets that. Okay. So what's this? This is... Okay, just a purple rupee. Okay. Hmm. Over there, no reason to be over that. And it... Did we... Is that a new one, or... I guess that that crab is not its own independent echo. Huh. That kind of surprises me. Let me just check. Real book. Crabs. It... Make sure I didn't miss anything or confuse myself. 
And no, it actually, it is just a sand crab. Just assumed it would be different, and then it wasn't, so. Oops. Idiot moment. Okay, well. Just barely blocks me. Funny more than anything. Okay. Can't go up past there. Enjoy yourself, spider. You won't. And... And... Keep chopping, keep slicing. Behind that part of the river. Here or... No, nothing. Nothing there. Okay. Get up there for a piece of heart. May as well. And that should be a stamp. Actually, leave that. I think I'll leave that for last. Okay. And. Depuit, depuit. Oh, okay. Come on, come on. Let me to boomerang this all. Cool. Make sure you can hit the air. There you go. Can't hold you forever, but. An okay amount of time is enough. Cool. And toss and multi-path it to get it to hit a second time. Thank you. And here we are. This remote area. And okay, the stamp's just here. Okay. 24. Find the final stamp. This doesn't lead to anything then. Huh. Maybe it's just a way to climb up to the mountain. I guess. Oh, well. The water is too watery. Okay. This is... Yeah, okay. This could be a way to climb up to the mountain. I... Actually... Here now? Almost. That's where it starts, okay. And just climb over there and skip a lot of it if you feel like it seems. Climb back up. Yeah, it's not deep water, it's just a shadow of the other water. So let's make this happen. Final step, here we go. Probably just gonna be a piece of heart, but that's life. And our fairy bottles are... all full. Okay. And a, yet another piece of heart. Hello? And... What do I have right now? Yep, we got three pieces of heart. Huh. To the very top where I... No stamp? Really? It's probably... Somewhere currently obscured by a rift. Because none of them are in caves, but... Moment of truth. And it... Yeah, it's not there. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Look over here. Stamps. And they're generally spaced pretty evenly around. Hmm. Might be one in the forest somewhere. I just can't get access to yet. They're generally pretty evenly spaced. Hmm. Not a lot around. I will feel though. So I suppose in that case. Yeah, because I could easily see it being somewhere in here. That's more reasonable than I would like. Suppose I go up and go back to Gerudo. Once I got both of the dungeons available. Let's see what happens. Through the headwaters. So let's talk to the chief. Eh, yeah. We'll be okay. Come on, come on. Here we are. Chief's place. Hmm. Thank you. 
Ah, big guy. Hello. You know, uh, our people are scared, boss. See that huge rift opening where Jabu Jabu on a rampage. Drad, if you're not out the plan, when have I, the great Drad, ever let you down? Chris, I got where Jabu Jabu nice and relaxed again. Thank you, boss, but how will you do that? Music, of course. River music of El Stop is rampage, which is that good. That new talent, Kushar, will finally bow down to my superior skills. Huh. Hold on, boss, why are you still squabbling with a Caesar or a chief? You two usually make up right away. It's really dragging on this time. I, oh, I thought we were going to blame each other for Jabu Jabu, but now it's a music fight. Swallowing, this is a big deal. She mocked my music. I'll never make up with her. Well, I'm not going to just sit around. I've got real problems to deal with it, Nawa. Oh? Who are you? How does it matter? It's got to wait. Polite of us. I'm going to go over. Do you need our chief for something? Sorry, Drat is busy. The boss has a lot going on right now. It doesn't help that he's having his worst swallow ever with a Caesar or a chief. Fights are usually small and then just fizzle out. This time it's blown up completely. You used to get along so well, too. Yeah, this fight's gotten really bad. And oh, it's the holdup. We've got to get to Crossbow's Plaza. Coming? Hi. Yes. Sorry, the boss can't. We'll see you. Hmm. Squabble, what a strange word. I don't understand what it means, but I do know that we'll never reach that rift until the two chiefs here at our request. Yeah. Travel Brothers Rift, the boss has gone off. We need here to keep an eye on things again. Where we go? Cross road flows. Now the boss went across West Plaza, that's where all the Zora meet, like a hangout spot with Lord Jabu Jabu. South of here, we're down, way down where the sea and river meet. Yeah. Oh, so if you went here first, that's how you see it, the squabble. I mean, between boss and the chief of the sea, Zora, those two have been squabbling since they were kids, but this time, yikes. I get that they play music differently, but I hope they hurry and make up soon. Oh. Boss has gone off, yeah, for now. The thing about boss, though, he trusts me so much, he leaves me here to look after stuff. Eh. Let's... Nothing there. Now the update is the Den's door won't open unless the River Zora and Siege Over Chiefs play through together. Unfortunately, the River Zora Chief Drad has rushed off to Crossroads Plaza without hearing the request. Oops. It's probably going to play music there and it's going to go badly because it's just him. Let's see. Now you're in here. The other one going to show up or what? <clears throat> New information. He actually hasn't gone there yet. I guess? Weird. Oh, so maybe it'll only sh she'll only show up after we talk to <clears throat> the River Zora. I mean, the Sea Zora Chieftain. Hello. Dive down. I figure out some way to go against the currents. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Talk to her. Go into Rudo Village and see some other stuff in there as well. Hi. Ah, uh, cutscene. Because if we hadn't triggered that, we would have been able to just talk to them normally beforehand and they complain. It's a grave situation. First, that rift now, or Jabu Jabu going wild. Or Jabu Jabu is the spirit of all Zora, but it falls to us to calm him. The crisis is without equal, and now it's time that I, Kushar, or the sea Zora, resolve it. Chief, what inspiring words? Please tell me how you plan to do it. Or Jabu Jabu loves our sea music, so I need only get him to listen to us perform. Then, Drow, that chillest buffoon will have to applaud my performance. I take it that you haven't resolved quite his quarrel with the other chief yet. Aww. Well, what are this quarrel is one for the ages. I'll never speak to him again. Yeah. He insults my music. I will not tolerate his presence. Mm. It's like he loves to provoke me. It would be fine if he agreed that I was more talented. <sighs> never mind all that. We have to leave immediately, Rogma. Okay. Oh, greetings, Holly. I'm on my way out. Your business will need to wait. So I guess Strad would have been nicer if we talked to him before progressing things a bit. Hi. Did you have a request of our chief? I'm sorry to say that. Until she's resolved our problems, she won't have time to help. But the crisis wasn't bad enough. Our chief is quarreling with the River Zora chief. Up and have their little quarrels, but always make up quickly. Not this time. It's a saying a squabble day keeps a friendship in play. Such nonsense. The stranger, I shouldn't burden you with our troubles. Well, but please, let's be off to Crossroads Plaza. Yes, it wants. If you'll excuse me. Okay. And you... They went off to Crossroads Plaza 2, and I guess it's time we joined the two chiefs there as well. First, I go to Gerudo. Hi! It's always such a pleasure to be in Chief Kishara's presence, but she's here. Where'd she go? Chief is going to Crossroads Plaza. Zora people gather there to take strength in the presence of Lord Jabu Jabu. 
Find the plaza. If you head north of here, it's where sea and river meet. Wait. It's a squabble. Oh, you must be referring to the quarrel between Kushar and the chief of the river Zora. It's just a different way of playing music. That's why them to argue about the smallest things. They usually settle their differences quickly, but their quarrel was going on forever this time. I hope our chiefs can make up soon so they can bring Colt or Jabu Jabu. Okay, farewell. Don't know when the chief will return. Until then, I'll simply reflect on her inspiring ways. So I'm gonna go over here. Got some quests in this town, and then do a dungeon, probably. Probably. That. With how many pieces of heart? 28, and that would be 11. I feel like 8 more after that makes sense. And then it'd be 7 more dungeons for 8 in total, which is normal for a Zelda game like this. It's like all of these braziers, just for fun. Well, this... That will spread it. Okay, cool. What if I just light them all now? What will you do? Well, there weren't even all that many. Yeah... What? The two of them. Oh, hello. Rifts in Gerudo Desert don't seem to be getting any smaller. Oh, that's concerning to hear. Do you need something? Outsiders aren't allowed to enter here. Come on, scram. Oh. Gotta get an in somehow. Running the braziers does not seem to do anything. Hi. See so the woman sitting over there? She was stolen away a long time ago. She hasn't spoken a word since. Before that, she was really lively, a real chatterbox. She was an excellent dancer. So we could give her that fan, maybe. She's changed a lot since those days. Rips are really disturbing things. Dot, dot, dot. She was stolen away a long time ago, and she hasn't spoken a word since. Yeah, yeah, things we saw before. I would imagine we'll give her the fan. Well, we can mark that, but also when we get rid of the rifts, that'll call for a reevaluation of the entire area anyway. Oh, and oh, nothing new. Oh, no, shoes. Druido sandals, quicksand proof. Oh, but we don't have enough. Those are Druido sandals. They're second done for long walks in the desert. But I can't do that yet. Traditional desert sandals that grunt the wear from sinking in quicksand. Don't seem to have enough rupees. Come on back once you do. Come, how can I help you? I'll sell. Got a lot of this. We could sell 20 to get enough. 19 to get enough. Let's buy ourselves the slippers. Thanks. Okay, uh, I could do business anytime. Uh, I like to chat. Uh, Got all sorts of. Hang on, you're a highlight. Not every day you see a highlight around here. Well, please have a look around. Uh, so, no blue potion yet, even. So, is it gonna be blue or purple when I buy these? Alright. Shoes. You got your rid of sandals. Wear these special desert sandals. Sprout yourself from sinking quicksand. Would be nice for the lawn mola fight. Uh, Thanks. And. Traditional desert sandals, they prevent the wear from sinking quicksand, so not that much, so. Are there only going to be 16? Usually they got something more when you look at them, and okay, yeah, just blue. No purple yet. Huh. So I guess you weren't really supposed to get that piece of heart in southern as early as I did, maybe? Huh. Hi. Weather sure is nice today, isn't it? On days like this, I feel like I'd sleep forever. And they got a scimitar for their knife on the cutting board. That's fun. Yep. Well, quest, was I seeing things? Okay, this might sound a little odd, but do you believe in tornado ghosts? Yeah, the tornadoes, we got one. See, I got caught in a sandstorm recently when this tornado comes whirling at me. It's hard to see clearly with what with all the sand, but I could swear I saw a face in the tornado. Must have been a ghost, but why would it be chasing me? Did I anger the spirits or something? Was it real? I'd imagine it. If I could see it again, I don't know for sure. Tornado ghosts. Drew a woman claims to have seen a tornado ghost in a sandstorm. Was it real or was she imagining it? She may learn the truth if she can see it again. Let's send our tornado down. Be around here, because I was using it to clear out sand before. The tornado ghost appeared in a sandstorm. I'm sure if I see it again, I'll know the truth about it. Hi! Goo ghost! Wait, it's not a ghost or a tornado, it's a monster called a tornado. Actually, now that I get a closer look at it, it doesn't even look like a ghost, it does it? looks like a frog. It just chased me because it wanted to send me flying across the desert. I didn't anger any spirits. I've really been overthinking things while well, that queers that up, I suppose. Thank you so much for helping me out. Here you go. Oh, Mel. That's nice. Sold on the mech already. 
How can I call myself a Gerudo when I'm so spooked by something that wasn't even a ghost? The chief finds out how easily spooked I am, I'll get a real talking to. But I mean we're all scared of something, can't really fault a person for having fears. Tornado ghosts are not to be a tornado monster. They're to a woman who was relieved to learn the ghost she met was a monster rather than an English spirit. Yeah. So the tornado ghost was actually a monster. That movie love scared makes him want to disappear. Don't do that. Grapes. What's in here? Am I gonna get in? Probably sneaking up on. Hi. Trudo kid? So, little one, who do you think the next chief will be? You think it'll be Donut, don't you? Yeah. How can I help you? It's Rita Stereo, you know. Yeah. Since the rifts appeared, the warriors have been fighting non-stop, resting in ships. Off duty today, but I might do a quick patrol at my walk, pitch in a bit more. Hmm. So, we can't give her the fan back yet. It's definitely what it was. Oh, so the kid in Kakariko, you probably use the sword to cheer him back up. Hi. Yeah. Look at you, a little thing, aren't you? Ouch. Lovely though you may be, you might want to build some muscle if you'll be here long. Well, maybe I'll just get out. Come on, come on, come on. Over here is... Another quest is there, and... Tawny House. Mangoes, or... What? Been in here, yeah? Okay. Hmm. Uh, me too. Talk to you. They always fall apart. Yeah. Well, highly unprecedented all the way here through the desert. You must be quite the explorer to come all this way, which reminds Whoa. me. Looking for these elusive tumbleweeds. Maybe you've seen them on your travels. I found them going across the sandy river in our desert, so I have to can't copy it. We have to drag it. The pesky things are all to reach, and if you try to grab one, they fall apart. Uh. The more I think about how abusive they are, the more obsessed I get. I want this to spend my time observing one of the tumbleweeds closely. Uh. I managed to destroy everyone I've found, and my dream to observe them is so out of reach. Ah. Bring my heart's desire, you'll be well rewarded. Use of tumbleweeds, and an enthusiastic Torito asked you to bring her a tumbleweed from the desert. Mm. All I want, all I can think about, are those magical mystical tumbleweeds. Ah. Okay, well rewarded, yeah. Train every day. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Check this out. You're right there, I... Oh, come on. Oh, no. And I... There we go. That's simple. Oh, but to... I have to push it through here and... Ooh, that was not good. I have to go through the main entrance then. Zoom away. Oh, come on. There you are. Here we go. A bit far away. That might be a problem. Hopefully not, but... And I... No, no. Oh, no. I the right spot and grab it. Snap yeah. right. That should work. Basically too wide. I think this should be okay. Should have cleaned to ourselves, and there we go. Nice! Brought it over. Oh. Well, that's so good. Oh, you brought one. Thank you so, so, so much. Yeah. Last the delicate dried foliage explains why they tend to break so easily. Mm -hmm. No, wait, it's not dry. This is just a particular type of plant matter. What are these plucky bits? Ah. Oh, the more I look at it, the more fascinating it is. I could spend all day gazing at this beautiful, magnificent tumbleweed. And my reward is... Uh, my dream has come true, my wish granted. Uh, Thank you, kind one. Please take these. Oh, just my crystals. Two of them. Oh, so a lot of them will come from the glass. Yeah. Such peculiar shapes, don't they? I hope you enjoy observing them for many hours. 79. Uh, of how looking at things from new perspectives can lead to new discoveries. The end, maybe I should study other Gerudo people next. And. We some tumbleweeds. So, yeah, Gerudo's supposed to be first then. Careful, we deliver the delicate tumbleweed to the Gerudo who requested it. She observed the plant intently, and her dream has now been fulfilled. How nice. Get up here. Yeah. Everyone in town is super tense because a rift appeared in Gerudo Sanctum. Have you been there? It's a site that's sacred to our people. It's just southeast of town. Giant rift swallowed up the sanctum, and wait, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. Hi. Oh, just cutscene. Yeah, so I need to find another way in. Maybe some kind of distraction? Maybe. Get up there. Do a bit of climbing. One way or the other. And you? I train every day. Yeah. Well, they're highly curious about me. I'm one of many Gerudo soldiers. I'm off duty at the moment, but that doesn't mean I'm going to slack on my training. My confidence comes from my agility and grace. Oh, my skill, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
huh? That's with a blank expression. It's almost as if you don't find me impressive. Well then, who must help you in hand-to-hand -hand tag? So when I play tag, I'll even give you something and manage to catch me. I'll do it. So this will be fun. Let the game begin. We're going to tag training. Huh. And... Tom Limiter. All right, I'm going to get running now. If you tag me, then you win. You can even walk the path you want. Come on, let's get going. And that's... There is... Ah, oh, the ones that haven't been done. Right over the top, you were challenged for the game tag by Jordan Soldier. It's probably best to think creatively here, rather than just running right after her. Yeah, spinning's good. Could catch you out this way. The spinning will gradually less catch up. Oh, hi. Can I... What's so fast? Even faster than me? Impossible. Yeah, spinning works. Yeah. Gonna have another challenge level, or...? Kinda tried hedging her in, but my my, you're indeed very capable. The legs carry you like one who has traveled across many regions, because I have. Oh, you have inspired your hero as promised. And, oh, it's just cactuses. You got six pieces of chili cactus. I'll keep training until I'm an invincible warrior. Thank you for the inspiration. Caught the Dorado soldier who was running around. She made a defeat and vowed to double down on her training and either one day become invincible. Hi, oh, back for more tag. Can never get enough running in. It's true. Let's go. Okay. A new reward or just for fun? Hmm. The way. We will really block you off. Thank you. I. Oh, okay. Hmm. Come on. Touch you for long enough, we can make that work. Oh, come on. How's that gonna determine? Maybe it's sort of a blocked path check or something. Or getting her into there, maybe? I. That is. I mean, plainly, it's. Put down a crate or something and it stops her, but. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. And just. Block, block, I- Oh, the wind cans are too small. Is there anything long that I can use? Problems take a lot. I... Probably just crates, honestly. Uh, okay. Sad. Maybe monsters? Stop it with something like that. Crates are over here. Just want to try this again. I- Please, please. Block you off this way. I cats blocking that. And just... hmm. Let's trap you here. I oh, never mind. I huh? block you with. Oh, here we go. There we are. Oh, oh, you have to press A to tag her. Oh, frustrating. Nothing new then. Okay. All right. You're really something, aren't you? You're so fast, my eyes can't even track you. This has been a fantastic training exercise. Please play with me again sometime. Okay. I don't know what's in this... this spot. Probably nothing. Say that now. Yeah, there are a couple of upper levels I want to check out real quick. Hello. Everyone's rest is because of the rest. It's no excuse my always a good sister to be so lazy. She likes to take it slow, but she's in a bad example for me. I should get it together. So I kind of overshare. I should be more careful about what I was saying. Alright, you again. Other oh, sure is nice today. I feel like it's sleep forever, yeah. Okay. Grapes. And peppers. Okay, cool. More pepper. Let's get up top. And we can keep getting up top. That did not quite work. Okay. Oh. Okay. That will work. Oh, then. And there is... Nothing in here. I wonder what all these empty houses are. Probably Gerudo who haven't come back yet. Either got swallowed up or... I don't know. Let's go up top and open things up. Come on. Thank you. Cool. What if we are in like this? Hello. Yeah. And we authorize personnel beyond here. What do you have to say? What's this patch of earth? Hi. Hello. 
Oh, I can move on for something. Well, he scared me how to get up here on the grass. Fell asleep during training, so I've got to repair this one with Ruva's punishment. Pulled it with sand that plugged up. It's kind of sloppy, but it'll be fine. I <clears throat> bet and dig here. Not now, but eventually. Yeah. I'll have to come back, probably. What am I going to get in here? Then. Distract them by tossing a pot off. I can see that. That does not make them move. Hmm. But in that case... Aw. Way to get in. In the area, if there was a way to get under the sand. Probably asking that Gerudo gal. Yeah, the guard. That should let us in there. Then we can do a Gerudo dungeon. <clears throat> That'll be nice. I don't imagine there'd be a stamp here. It's one you're buying. Might be one in the castle or something. Something castle related. Hello there. Hi. And what, you again? Get through the sand? I know you aren't getting past me. Those authorized by our chief are allowed to entry now go home. Don't think she's going to move. Ah! Oh? What was that? Is someone hurt? I have to stay at my post, otherwise I go see what's going on. That's... I want to go see what happened, but I can't leave my post. I heard a scream while asking a soldier about how to get under the stand. The soldier is concerned, but she cannot leave her station. Oh, is that the chief? Ah, is she okay? Time to find monsters. Some the big one. Hello. Hi there, I. Let's make this happen. And just catch you or not. There we are. Oh, I, okay. This is quickly as. Oh, really? Okay. Well, hold on. Stop going under the sand, buddy, don't you? Here we are. Hi. Oh, what happened? The monsters, they're gone. Did you defeat them for me? Sure. It seems I posed no threat to you, and yet I, seasoned warrior, couldn't handle them. Thank you, you saved my life. Well, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm doing to the captain of the Gerudo Warriors. What's your name? It's not the chief yet. Possibly the next one. Nice to meet you, Zelda. So it brings you out this way. Yada yada. Mm, I see, I see. I should travel around fixing rifts. Uh-huh. You're fixing rifts? Pardon my shock. It's just that the rifts have been causing us serious trouble lately. You also heard that taking care of the monsters would also take care of the rifts, but it hasn't. The rifts haven't gotten any smaller, and the monsters keep coming without end, it seems. We could rid, us, rid ourselves of these cursed rifts and nobody else would end up getting hurt. Hey Zelda, do you think she might know how to get you under the sand? Is everything alright, Zelda? Order from the captain? You want to burrow under the sand? Hmm, well the sanctum is beneath us, so I understand now. You think you can get rid of the rift if you get into the sanctum? Normally the entrance to the sanctum is where we're standing. But as you've probably noticed, it's flooded with sand now, so nobody can get inside. If you want to get into the sanctum, you first need to acquire the entrance. Why is it blocked up? The sanctum was pulled into a large rift. After that, tons of monsters began swimming out of the entrance to the sanctum. At that point, we blocked up the entrance manually, trapping the monsters inside. Oh. Want to get into the sanctum, we first need to clear out the entrance. Now we can clear it. Oh. Soldiers going to the back entrance. If we go through there, we could clear the sand out. Of course, doing that would release the monsters as well, but we kill them. Chief had orders to keep it blocked for now, for safety, so I'm not sure how to proceed. Oh. If you want to get into the sanctum, I see. Ah. Or to get rid of the rift and get into the sanctum right. Oh. Understood. Well then, it sounds like we need to discuss things with the chief. You saved my life, so I'll do all I can to help you. If you're able to get rid of the rip, that means our warriors won't be injured anymore. Let's meet up at the palace in Gerudo Town, which is northwest of here. Normally only Gerudo are on the palace, but I'll put in a word for you at a time, so that's the quest. Alright, Zelda, I'll be waiting for you there. Cool. Okay. Rift to get in Gerudo Sanctum, which is currently submerged in sand. You need to talk to the Gerudo chief and to the palace in Gerudo Town. Captain Donis said you'll find the town in the west. Alright. Oh well. So that choir away was Captain Dona. Thank you for saving her. Otto. Let's just get in the bed for a second. Big rift. And yeah, let's go to the palace now. Ah, Gerudo Shaw. What are the others might be marked as? There's Gerudo Shop, Smoothie Shop, Top Mango Plant Lab. 
No marker there. Kakariko Village Shop. Goron Shop is in the city. Little Castle Town Shop. Smoothie Shop. River Zora Shop. Seaside Village Shop. And the other Zora Shop is inside there. And Southern Village Shop. And that's right, there is no shop in Scrubton. It's rather limited. Okay, cool. Hello there. I wouldn't go in. I was told you're all to enter the palace, so go on ahead. You might be the first outsider I've seen who's been granted access to the palace. Yeah. Captain Duna informed me to let you through and understand that this is an exception to the rule. You may enter. Yeah. Hello. Uh. Everyone in town is super sad, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, right. No new dialogue yet. Hello. Yeah. Round back. Oh, round the side. And oh, there. Hello. Oh. Yeah, raw. Is it for later? I'm in the middle of training right now. Can we dig in here? I uh, yeah. Wonder if that might be a mini game eventually, and that moves her out of the way and makes her disappear. That. Yeah. Wonder where she went. Maybe one of the other houses. Yeah. Whatever. Let's go up. Splashy water. And here it is. It's small. An advisor. Facet. Ah, oh, the gems. She was mentioned by the Mango Gal. Chief Sira, I have a report concerning the blocked up entrance to the Sanctum. It's predicted the number of monsters is dwindling. Yeah. Now, Zelda, I've been waiting for you. It's a chief. Chief, this is the highlight I was telling you about. And with her help, we may be able to get rid of the giant rift here in our desert. But in order to do that, she'll need to get into the Sanctum. She can get rid of the rift as she claims will finally dump this long battle. This anyway, please restore the entrance to the Sanctum. Captain Duna, do you comprehend what it is you were asking? If you recall, after the Sanctum was consumed by the Rift, the surge in monsters began. For the town's safety, we blocked the Sanctum's entrance to prevent monsters from pouring out. Since then, we've been eradicating the rest of the monsters, which will fix the Rift, except no. After that, we'll reclaim the Sanctum. That was the plan, or have you forgotten? Of course not, Facet. Many of my warriors have been injured, and the monsters keep coming. To top it off, we defeated countless monsters, yet the Rift doesn't appear to be shrinking at all. Should be acting with the urgency to be rid of the rift as soon as possible, and Zelda can help. Can't expect us to trust this total stranger. We don't even know where she comes from. The chief's daughter. I'm shot. Daughter. I'm shocked by her severe lack of judgment. He spells it Sira. Heard my words, Chief Sira, but I do not. I understand the concern you feel for the warriors. I feel each injury to our warriors as though it was my own. That said, have you seen this highly eradicate a rift? I. If only we just met this stranger yourself, how can you tell us to trust her? Are we gonna do a test? Well, I. Chief Seward themes seems further discussion is unnecessary. Now is not the time to be entertaining strangers and their claims. Well, prove what Zelda says is true. You'll be wasting your time. This hunt is clearly deceiving you. She saved my life. How dare you speak of her like that? I trust Zelda, and I will prove it that she can get rid of rifts. Oh. I'm gonna go back and she'll force it open, or no matter how many monsters they fight, the rift isn't going to go away on its own. Don't is correct about this, so why won't they trust us? Rift. Chief and Ray do not believe that Rifts can be mended. They denied your request. Don't know if the palace determined to prove to them what's possible. Uh. Rifts will be gone once we defeat the monsters enough of your meddling stranger. No time for entertaining strangers. Pass it. Continue to report. Pointless report. Can't even go out through there, so... Left the palace, so okay, so we just go right outside. She'll probably strong arm that soldier into letting us in. Maybe lie. Hello. Uh. You're the Hylian. And Jono left a message for you on her way out. She mentions that she's heading to the Oasis and she'd like you to join her there. Get the Oasis, head to East Wind of the Town, can't miss it. I went there, and that's all she shared for you. I give those directions every time because, well, you could come here without the Oasis. The soldier passed out a message from Dona asking you to come to the Oasis. The Oasis is located east of town. But now we've got every single. The map's all clear now. Seemingly. Something's probably gonna change with Eternal Force, but we'll see. I've been doing a lot for the Oasis. She's hoping you'll meet her there. When you leave town, I have to you'll come to the Oasis. She'll be waiting for you. Yeah. Social permission or not, don't go into the palace without a good reason. Chief Sewer's very busy after all, and anyone wants a stranger like you going in there. For fun. What are the special... Special mangoes will come after we fix this rift. It'll be fun. Yep. Hello. Hi. 
And... So none of the rifts are shrinking yet, I see. Thank you for your report. Get some rest before you return to patrol the rifts. Thanks for coming, Zelda. Let's talk over here. Cinematic. The water here is so beautiful, don't you think? This place holds many memories for me. The chief, my mother, used to play here with me when I was little. She would tell me to look at this stream water to keep my mind and heart calm like the water. Bassett took my training rather than my mother because mother was busy as chief. Bassett trained the others too. Thanks to her and mother, we have the Gerudo you see today. So much respect for the both of them, but I can't send by and watch things get worse. I believe you can fix the rifts, Zelda. So I wonder how we can prove to my mother and Facet that you're being honest. Aside from the big rift at the Sanctum, there are also three small rifts elsewhere in the desert. I'd like for you to see if you can get rid of any of them. In Southern Oasis Ruins, Ancestors Cave of Rest, and Southern Gerudo Desert. Want to know more about the rifts, Oasis Ruins? Oh. Receive reports about monsters coming out of the from the ruins south of here. Some of my monsters were dispatched to deal with them. Oh. Ancestors Cave! Oh. There's a small cave on the northern edge of the desert that houses a grave for our ancestors, but a rift appeared in the cave. And so now we can't even visit the grave. Rhymes. And a rift opened up south of town. I have some monster soldiers keeping an eye on it now, as monsters can come pouring out at any time. Okay, cool. We'll see. Probably to clear them all up. Trust you, Zelda, if you get rid of a rift, I'm sure the chief will trust you too. Oh, so probably all the small rifts, you, rifts you've seen, and we'll still have to go inside manually after we beat the dungeon. Talk to me again if you need more info on the rifts, okay? Now, as if you can mend any of the three, three small rifts that appear in the desert, the rifts are located in the southern Oasis Ruins, the Ancestors Cave of Rest, and the southern Gerudo Desert. Hmm. Yeah. That, that cloak. Right, still land here. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Saw this already. Yeah. Mm, check them out, but the sensor was gone. We killed the Lime Moa. Let's go and clear out every single one. For the sake of it. That. Good. Maybe get try a bit closer? I wouldn't hate that. Maybe the rift over here that we can't even enter yet might be... Dompe's location? Automatons are gated then. Uh, water. And hello. Oh no, what's wrong? Been keeping posts here at the rift without any rest. We ran out of water while fighting the monsters. We're about ready to collapse. So thirsty, I can't even move anymore. Got to drink something right away. Water won't be enough, and you need to drink that can both hydrate you and provide nutrients. Oh, a smoothie? I know Zelda, can you run to the smoothie shop if you waste to buy a cactus smoothie? Make one for you if you give them two chili cacti here. Ah, you got two pieces of chili cactus. Stay here and keep an eye on them, so please go get that drink, Zelda. Southern Druido Desert Rift, all the cactus smoothie, thank you, Zelda. Oh, we already had it. Alright, everyone, drink up. Okay. Oh, I feel rejuvenated. I feel so much better already. Thank you, now we can get back to patrolling. Thank goodness, I'm so glad you're all feeling refreshed. Better go back to the Oasis, see you, Zelda, now we can go in. Oh? There's nowhere around here for me to create an entrance into the rift. Mm -hmm. Soldiers in the southern Gerudo Desert feel better thanks to the Cactus Smoothie. They're relieved since they can now continue their watch over the rift. I feel so much better already. We're rejuvenated. Yeah. Almost passed out. Thank you so much for helping us. Okay, well. The remaining rifts are in the southern oasis ruins and the Ancestors Cave of Rest. I bet Ancestors Cave is going to be the only option there. Because it's meaningful. Rather resilient for a fish. Okay. Let's go back over here then. Buy that cave. Eat our cactus smoothie. Got a bunch already. Didn't get to see the flavor tanks, but whatever. It's a nothing quest. Come on, right over here. And it's more you, another cactus smoothie. Uh, are you hanging in there? That's sort of actually, actually, I'm not. We're defeating wave after wave of these things, but they just keep coming. Hmm, what did you get here? It's not safe. Your monsters keep coming after us. And. Oh, we'll probably have to fly them on. Okay. Hmm. Just like that, all my muscles are locking up at this point, but none of them are actually rifts. That's some Gerudo soldiers at the small rift in the southern oasis ruins who've been fighting non-stop against the monsters. Seems at the limits of what they can do. It's cursed monsters. Uh, I can imagine I probably need to get over here. Do everything everywhere before I can... 
And then they'll basically just test my skill even if I couldn't open the rift and they'll trust me to go in anyway because it helped it that much. Hi. Oh well. But these are easy enough, actually. Oh no, it's a redad. Oops. Okay. Get over there. I... Fire Octo. Bet that would be good. Here. Yep, you can just keep the fire on. And... Oh goodness. Just kill, kill the keys, please. There we go. The stun lock. No, but the fire is really good at taking it out, it seems. Maybe the real ones are stronger. Oh, well, you're a pretty strong, girl. Can't believe we were the ones being saved. Well, at least the monsters seem to be mopped up for the time being. Now, if the rift would just go away, I'm worn out from all the relentless fighting. Let's take a break for a bit. Thank you for helping us, you're a lifesaver. Mint or fruit? I can't create a rift entrance here, so we won't be able to get into this one. I what determines that. You help the Druid soldiers by defeating the monsters that appeared from the rift. The soldiers plan to rest for a bit. Okay. It's all the way over there. Hmm. Let's go up. Still got a decent amount of things to do the quest. It's not just go in, they open it up for you. Still got objectives. It's just go there more quickly. So this would send you. The remaining rift is in the Ancestor's Cave of Rest. Send you over here to get the mole if you hadn't gotten it already, but we already came here. Oh well. Here you are. The torches in here have all gone out. What am I going to do? Oh, so we go to the other sunlight. The torches from that last time didn't do anything. The rift in here, I can't get near the grave, so I can't light the torches. Ah, and without them lit, our ancestors won't be able to rest peacefully. The torches of the gravesite inside the ancestors' cave of rest have gone out. The rift is blocking the path. The Gerudo soldier doesn't know how to access the torches to relight them. I've already been through here. The torches in here have all gone out. What am I going to do? Yep, okay. That again. Add that up with an Ignazol. Okay. Okay. Yep. Or move this around, because we've already been through here to get our mole stuff going. Not my problem. Okay. Okay. Digging down, digging down. Nothing too complicated. Thank you. Get on the other side, and there we are. Fun. Oh, now you're here. Da da da. And if we light these up, are you gonna turn into a monster or what? Razor, no, not like that. And light, light. Here we are. Cool. Lit up again. Well, I already lit it up before, but ah, uh, peace once more. I don't believe I've seen you before. Well, thank you for lighting the torches. What ancestor is that? The Naboru? The fire's burning. We can rest peacefully now. Oh, is she the ancestor? Oh, yeah. Please go tell my descendant that all was well. Ah. Thank you, ghost. The torches are lit again. Oh, they are. So you what then, but how? Digging down. Found a secret passage away to the grave. I didn't know one existed. And a Gerudo over there wanted you to talk to me. It's so weird, I thought it was the only one here. Well. Well, anyway, thanks for the help. I really appreciate it. I'm sure the ancestors are happy too, thank you. I'm not seeing anywhere I can create an opening in the rift yet. Exactly, it was just getting people to vouch for us. So we won't be able to get in here. And. Silva, so how's it gone so far? Were we able to get rid of any of the rifts? Nope, we couldn't get rid of them, which means getting you into the sanctum is the only way we'll solve things. We don't have any way to do that right now. Or. Captain Dona received, received a message from Lady Facet. Wants to know whether or not you've been able to see evidence of Zelda's powers yet. We gonna lie? She commands that you bring the Highland to provide her a status update. Uh, so be it. Uh, we haven't found a way to prove your ability yet, but we'd better go check it regardless. I'll go on ahead to the palace. Come meet you there later, please. Okay. Yeah. The answer seems to feel at ease now, thank you. We want the torches inside the gravesite inside the Ancestor's Cave of Rest. The Druid soldier who is worried about her ancestors is grateful for your help. You weren't able to mend any of the three small rifts. After receiving a message from Facet, you decided to head back to the palace to share the news. Alright. Time to be the bringer of bad news. Awesome. <laughs> yep. 
do wonder. Oh well. That's you, Captain Donut, is waiting for you inside. So many of my friends are being wounded on the battlefield and I'm stuck guarding the palace. All I can do is hope for their safety. I feel so powerless here and frustrated. Alright. Hello there. And it starts. Tell us, Captain Donut, have you managed to find proof that she can fix the rifts? Not yet, but if it wasn't to what she has to say, then why can't we just lie? So if we return to this with nothing after swimming, we'd find proof of her capabilities. Clearly, this is some sort of joke. The stranger has you entirely deceived. Yeah. But she doesn't, for what reason it should be deceiving me to what end? Ah. She's been working with me to prove that she can get rid of the rifts since the last spoke. She'll be running all over the desert like that to simply double laugh at my expense. Ah. I know she's telling the truth, and I'm willing to give her the opportunity to prove it to you, too. I can't stand by while my warriors and my friends are being wounded on the battlefield. I trust Zelda, and I know she can get rid of the rifts. We just have to give her the chance. Take full responsibility for whatever happens. Please keep serious and let us enter the sanctum. Mm. Do you know you are willing to risk your honor as a warrior to place your trust in this person? As a captain, huh? I am. Mm. You've grown so strong, my daughter. I too can no longer stand by while my people suffer. Seeing you place your honor on the line inspires me to place my own trust in this person. Mm. Chief Siri, you cannot be serious. Mm. If you remove the sand from the sanctum, we will once again be overwhelmed by monsters. Huh? Forget that I'm a warrior facet, I will hold the monsters at bay. <laughs> Being ridiculous, you really think you can hold back waves of monsters on your own. Bye. She won't be on her own yet, because we helped everyone. Huh? Freed everyone up. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? Uh. You overheard your discussion. Chief Serial Lady Fast, this time lady has helped all of us. Eh. She helped me at the cave of our ancestors, oh. and she aided us as well. She's able to rid us of these horrible rifts, and we'll do all we can to support her. Captain Dona, we stand at your side. Hmm. 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 Fast, you heard our warriors are now willing to hear this Zelda out. Huh? Of course not, what are you saying? What a wretched excuse for a chief. She's trying to deceive you, to take advantage of you. Can you not see her true character? Mm -hmm. Have to fight, or? Guards, he's, this girl's ill intentions. He's here to deceive us, Gerudo. Throw her in jail at once. Pass it, what are you doing? Gonna overthrow her? Or? It's a fake. Chief Stuart, we've got trouble. What is it? Rift of the ruins in the eastern desert crew, and a bunch of our warriors were taken no. by it. May there one soldier. That's Chief Sura. Ooh. New rift. No time to waste. Onward, warriors. Trudo tried it. Of course, Chief Sira. Chief Sira, please must wait. You can't go rushing to the fray like this, so ill equipped. Mm. What do we do? Rift expanded. I might be able to create an entrance there then. Let's follow them. Warriors were swallowed up by the rift that grew, grew larger in the eastern part of the desert. Chief Sira rushed from the palace in a panic with Dona following after her. Oh, this is the desert. Temple one. Ah, okay. Nice. A lot of things are around then, no. So is there gonna have to be a Lamola fight then? Maybe. That'd be fun. I suppose. Anything is left behind. Funny the Bo Book of Medora was here, because the Book of Medora gets used. Open the desert palace in Winter the Pass. Oh, no more sandstorm, and wait. Oh, there's a sandstorm here. Gonna be a Lamola here, maybe. Maybe. Either way, it. Tornado's here. I feel like things have gotten a bit more dangerous. Come on. Come on. Okay, and just like that. Come on. Gonna throw me and uh, push you closer to me, which I don't like. Come on, come on. And fish, fish, fish. I don't remember dunes in this part of the desert. Huh. Don't like that. It's over here. Let's put this down and oh, okay, scorpion. Hi. I. Mm. Oh goodness. Come on, come on. I there we go. Now we can keep the place. And there we are, Pepper. Sandstorm's over here. Hi. And Moa is probably over this way then. Maybe. Wait until they see us. These things have gotten a bit more intimidating. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Question is how I'm going to fight it. Oh. Yeah. Host has been at the desert entrance for a long time. I've never had a fight so much. Still, so long as my heart continues beating, I'll continue fighting. 
We went in sight to the Rift Patrols or to the extermination of the shadow creatures. For now, we have to keep going. The sun will always rise, even from the darkest night. Oh. On to 2050, I've lost count of how many monsters we've taken out, and it's not enough. As soon as we take them out, more comes. It's not like we can ever take a break and rest. Hmm. Hi! And it's sand again. Okay. And that is definitely the landmola then. It comes back around the other way. That's fun. After easy desert comes hard desert. Desert revisited. Maybe it would have been more efficient to stay away, but... Oh well. Hello there. So, of course, we should put our... Take this off and put anti-sand on. Nice. Who can we use? It's gotta be the mole then. And that's gonna make this simpler. Oh, and it's a green land mole. They're multiple? Okay, well, alright. Come on, come on, and just take you out, take you out. Come on, come on. I Stronger land mole. I don't like that piranha being here. I really don't. Come on, I pull, pull. Nice. And get around that other way. Keep it up. I really? What? Huh? Why is the MOA not paying attention to anything? Whatever. Kill that guy. That's good. Come on. Pull. And go back down and come on. Keep shooting. How many shots are you gonna manage it? There we go, we got three. Good. Can't pull it out a second time. I like that at least. And, oh, I think they're spawning during the fight as ads. Okay, and that makes sense. Let me see. Come on, I shoot the right one. And another. Ooh, you're strong. These fishes. Not too bad. What is my reward going to be for this? Stronger line mold. This is. Honestly, more interesting than previous Lambo fights. There are a lot of complications. It's all about that range. And the fish. And the fish. Can't forget the fish. So, true extermination of Lambo. That would probably get parts. Normally. Okay, and just down there. Shoot. Come on, come on. How many shots are you not to get off to kill this thing? Other way, sandstorm, sandstorm is not great. Yeah, for the sandstorm, there's a limbo. And come on, hit. You get three, hopefully. Another, another one. And really, you're frightening. Okay, all right. <laughs> Be fun if pulling with that and get the right direction. Pulling a bit to the side ensures that we won't get the tail. No one get the tail. There we go. No more sandstorm. Just monster stones. Huh. Okay. What if anything respawn ever? Other way we should get back in bed. Okay. Huh. That was interesting. I wonder if that would be quest related. Have we already killed that one more. Did I mention that? Hi. How could this happen? Got sucked in, or... Those people got taken by the rift, so this is what folks mean as they stolen away. So there's some way to save them. Hi. Go in here. Our warriors are inside this yeah. rift. Don't get too close. You got to save them, but how? Now it's open. Facet, following your counsel, you've tirelessly worked to defeat the monsters. Tell me then, why has this rift gotten bigger? Perhaps we have yet to defeat enough monsters. Chief Tear, it's dangerous here. Let us return to the palace with haste. It would be absurd if two soldiers have been taken. Do you really think I'd leave them behind? Oh, I. Pass it, following the council, it has to work. Yeah. Okay, okay. And just go in now. Put our proof in. I've heard that anyone who vanishes into a rift is never seen again. What do we do? If you're a stranger, you can get rid of rifts, right? So you can save my friends who vanish too. My friends have been pulled in. I have to save them, but how? Our warriors are inside this rift. How did it get bigger? Let's do it! I think I can create an entrance here. 
Sandvaxilla. I feel like some kind of wind will extermination. Quest is gonna end up happening. Zelda is that an entrance into the rift? Yada yada. Can enter the rift here to get rid of it, and you'll be able to get my friends out too. Well, thanks to goodness. Please do whatever you need to. Try create an opening in the rift that swallowed up the Druid Warriors. Don't ask you to mend the rift and save the warriors who were taken. Are we able to make an entrance into the rift? Are we capable of such things? And didn't even notice. <laughs> Not even paying attention. Okay. And for that anyone who vanishes, okay, that's normal. Okay. Hi. Please have got your rid of this rift and help my friends. Let's enter. How big is this one gonna be? And oh, the desert temple's there. And since my friends here, they're trapped. Trapped in five areas to be exact. If we rescue them all, we can fix this rift. Not a big then. Still desert temple ruins, because yep, exactly. It's the desert temple from Went to the Pass. It's gonna be a pseudo desert temple then. I have to fight on my mola here. That'd be cool. Hmm. That's over there, and we got sand. Got our anti quicksand measures. That's nice. Come on, come on. Hit. 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 Okay. Let's see if I can use the crawl. Go up. And yep, you can make it. Refit a sim in the sand, but it's no problem. There we go. It's one of them. And can we definitely jump up here, right? Yep, we can platform like this. Cool. Oh, and a petrified Gerudo warrior. And a bit of that. This just gets me across to where I was before, so clearly, I want you always try engaging with this cave entrance. Okay. Maybe it's just in here. Is it room or something? Oh, wow, booms. Cool. Let's... Let's... Boomerang board won't do this. Hello. Thanks. Multi-hit. Nice. So, then... Hello. Trap you. Hit ya. Can't do much like this. Thank you. Blue rupee. Fun. Yep, and it's just right there. Cool. Cool. Oh, but it's... Ah, now it's on here. It came a bit with us. Fun. Kill. Come down. And, no, not like that. The other one. This should work. Another hit. And there we are. And of course we could have used that to go on, but... Frankly, if it's there, I want to kill it. One, two... Not reach that, but we can bed up. Here we go. Cool. Another group of tries friends. We'll just return. For the rest. Don't imagine we'd be able to re-enter this still world segment. It seems that only the dungeon ones have any lasting rewards. Okay. Over here and oh hello there. Hi. What are you gonna do? Come on. And it's uh, interesting. Alright. Oh, goodness. That's scary. Go ahead, throw your. No, we want. Club Borbon. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Take you out. Take your jump. Good stuff. More or less. Oh, please. Can I, just like that, we can take out the scorpion man. There we are. Let's put the bed down. Get three hearts back. Hmm. Already got ten hearts. This hero mode would be really tough if I hadn't gone out and gotten a bunch of defense boosting equipment, pieces of heart. I made myself stronger. A lot stronger. And oh. Oh, so Fatsit might be manipulated. Hey, isn't this Fatsit? Oh, she's just that doppelganger. I wonder why she's in here. 
Yeah. She's probably distracting her. Didn't even see the rift. And it's so funny that they're just trolling. You can climb on them. Maybe a bit disrespectful. Maybe. Back down here. That. I can only go down that then. Okay. Oh, the ruins. Right. Sand and oh, the piranhas. Look at that. We pull you out of the sand. Kinda. Kinda, sorta. That's fine. Square the wall. There we go. And just platform up this, can we? Maybe. Definitely seems like a bad platforming situation. Yeah, or a crawler situation, but who's counting? It's a bit more interesting this way, maybe. And here we are. Got the top, and where there is a rock with tries friends under it. Okay. Let's get that. And then that rift. And come back. More warriors. Okay. Finish this up. And oh, look, more piranhas. Awesome. There we go. Let's drop you and. How do you get smacked? Piranha out of sand. Fish out of sand. Can we jump around that? Not really. We're gonna have to use the bed. I. Let's get that rupee before it disappears. And. Up here. There and. Let's try that way. Okay. Mm. Okay. There is the piranha. Hi, hello. Smack, yeah, we'll smack it. Okay. And here we are. That's this still world segment done. Let's see how many ex experience points we're trying to get in this. This video like highly looted sanctuary, and that was a pittance. We found all of my friends in this area, and now we can mend this rift. Give me power. Always cute. I think we can get in the dungeon. That second line mole up here was kind of crazy. A friend shared some of their power with me. And that was a good amount. Yeah, it's story base. And some might ore, my crystals. It might cap out at over 100, maybe then. Depending on how the story progress is going to work with this. Huh. Either way, there are only two of the acorn guys who I haven't gotten maximum. <sighs> the best time on. And that's the real facet. Time to kill the fake facet, Zelda. Oh, where, where am I? Unless I remember I was pulled into a rift. Here we go. I'm so relieved everyone is back safely. She really did the rift. It's... It's gone. Saw it with her own eyes. What astonishing powers. That's it. Where are you going? Shouldn't leave the palace unguarded. I must hurry back. Uh, imposter. The imposter. What, what happened to me? Imposter doesn't seem to have run away. Facet. And that means there are two of you. Chief Sura, Captain Donut, what has happened? We're wondering the same. How did you get here? I was, I was looking at the rifts here in the desert. And then, and then. Well, yes, that was pulled into a rift. Let's see. And Chief Sura. I recommend extreme caution. She came out of a rift after all. She could be some kind of monster. So that's what she mm. is. You don't actually think I trust you, do you? Mm. Raw. Go. You're not going anywhere. Oh, well, you know, that just kills. That's the end of you. Thought we'd have to fight you. Where did she go? She vanished. Mm. So she was a fraud after all. Uh. Asset made many questionable remarks ever since the rifts appeared. She spoke of a legend that promised defeating monsters would eliminate the rifts. Eh. So was it, was it just a waste of time? Or does it strengthen the rifts? Bearing the entrance of the saint, it was also her idea. Uh. Right. She only suggested it when she heard that the rift in the forest had been eradicated. 
Now that I reflect upon it, she must have intended to keep Zelda away from the rift, but why? Because she didn't want the rifts to be fixed, all of her deceits were to that end. Zelda, although we were deceived by the false facet, I apologize for how we treated you. You have my permission to restore the entrance to the sanctum, and you have my blessing. I know it is selfish for me to ask, but you must use your power to help me and my people. All right. Thank you so much, Chief. The entrance to the sanctum sits at the base of a quicksand flow in the southern desert. The cave that drained the sand was plugged, causing the flow to submerge the entrance. So, go speak to the guard of the cave and tell her what has transpired. Yes, Chief Zira. Okay. We're going now. We did it. Once you're ready, we head to the sanctum. We're counting on you, Zelda. Still here? The facet who was in the palace was an imposter. Chief Zira was chosen to believe you in Dona and gave permission to restore the sanctum's entrance. Head to the cave in the southern part of the desert. It's disturbing the one that facet was a fake. Really, ever since the rifts appeared, it's been one form after another. Yeah. It was awful. I'm told you're the one who saved me. Thank you, Truly. My name's not Truly, it's Zelda. See it a bit weathered and... Yeah, you can't actually go into the Desert Palace. Probably actually a good thing. Prevents too many... Repeats. Same old, same old. Yeah. That's where that land mole was. No more sandstorm. Hmm. Probably summoned, maybe. I don't know. I want to see what they would say if we went back here real quick. Either way, that desert palace one is gone now, so I bet that some of the other rifts are going to open up bigger. We'll have other sort of intermediate tidbits before we can actually go in the dungeons. Maybe. Either way, what about this? Sorry, true to like an enemy for no reason. Can't believe that Facet was an imposter. It might be a bit before I feel like I can trust again. Do you wonder what's going to be under that dirt? Hello? Hello? An imposter made such a mess of things and in such short order. It is unacceptable and deeply unfortunate. Please do whatever you can to be rid of that rift for us. Let's feel ready. Please out of the sanctum. We're counting on you. Thank you. So... We to get in there eventually. Probably a reward after we beat this. Okay. Let's go in and... Fight more things. See what we get. Hmm. Come on, go away from the reed heads. And you're just sitting. Hello. I've been informed of the situation. The plug stopping the quicksand is just through here. The place is swarmed with monsters. I haven't been able to get past them. I think that all that needed to be done is to pull that plug to drain the sand. So we need to pull that plug so we can get to the rift entrance. Let's go, Zelda. I've been informed of the situation. The plug stopping the quicksand is just through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Heard that already. And... Oh, well. We just need some kind of range. Let the Moa do it. Thank you. Boom. Dual thought. Now we got air cannons. And plainly, we just want to drop it off. Yeah. Okay. Where are you? And then we can move it around the other way if we take it with us and push it off. Yeah. Might be a bit of a skip. So how can we kill these blade traps? That's my question. Is it a bomb fish? Let's see that. Oh goodness. Come on. Hi. Mm, maybe. Oh, we can keep you in place and then try to use the bomb fish. Or no, we just drop you. Maybe. I know that we can get them eventually, but I wonder what that would take. Maybe a Moa could do it. Alright. Mm. Try everything. Maybe a Deku Baba could just eat it. That'd be funny. Yeah! You just have to eat it. That's fine. We're in the Pathway Deku. 
Plus one. This monster charges ahead, spinning its sharp blades, then returns to its starting point. Its undead motion blocks paths. Well, it, it's a lot of Baba. Just eat them all. Yeah, it's, it's big enough. Oh, but it gets damaged because it's eating some of the sharp blades. And it can only eat two of those before it just dies. That's funny. Okay. Go ahead. Let's just put one down here. Hit that. Yep. That's a nice way to do that. Oh, we got fire. Oh, we got a... Gibdo. We're weak to fire, so... It's two fire octos should do the job. Go ahead. Burn the Gibdo. You know what? We can just toss you down. Toss you down there and see how you do. And... Keep on burning and turn into... Turn into what? Oh, I think they just keep on burning until they die. Yep, nice. Very far weak. And... Oh, and the Gibdo Echo. They don't turn into Redeads, though, which sometimes they do. The bandaged monster that can stop foes in their tracks. It is weak to fire, though, and will flee in a panic if exposed to it. Okay. So it just stays on fire until it's dead. Okay. Fun. Red Cannon. It's a Rupee. How to blow that Rupee away. This is... Ah, key. Got a small key. Can it open a locked door? Cool. Goes out this way. So that we can loop around, but... Got our fights. Let's just open all these up first. See how I want to fight some of you then. Baba would probably be able to just eat them. Uh, that's not really fun, unless it's the only way. So... Come on, I, we're not hidden, though. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. They're fighting each other, and no longer going after me. There we are, okay. But of course we could have come in here through the other path, because we were able to drop that wind cannon off by going from the other side. It wasn't that hard. Okay, nice. Try not to fall off the edge, and... Well, it should be through here, right? Come on. And, oh, another cave. There's a lot more here than I expected. By the way... And another pathway to take out a pathway. The mutually annihilate. They don't do anything. Okay. Cool. I... Oh, goodness. Oh, it's on top now. Oh, oh, and just get chopped. It's not good. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. And I... Oh, oops, oops. I... All right. Oh, you can go on top. That's interesting. Let's just put this there. Eat, eat, eat it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, please. What if I stay on top of it, actually? Yeah, oh, what? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, because it goes over because it sees the enemy. That's right. I... From the other side, maybe? This? There's no advantage to eating these things. But I really want them all to eat. Reach through. Or not. What if I bring you over? Will you be able to snap at him? Can you reach down? Almost. Almost. Eat it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Thank you. Yep, damaged after eating. Dangerous food. This goes down the ladder. Annoying. Oh, well, of course I can just trap you in place. That's right, I can grab these things. That's right. Okay. Mm, you gotta come down a bit first. Okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh. Bring you over somewhere like here. Don't put the baba down. Yep. Okay. Cool. Now we can come across. What's in this pot? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Bridge across this. It. Tile, maybe? I see the tile working. Hmm. And I. No. 
that anywhere. It's gotta get you out of the way. Something sufficiently tall could probably block it. Question is what? Hmm. Ice block and then shrubbery on top. Something heavy enough to not get moved. Beetle mound. No. It's not even high enough. We need to try that shrubbery. Actually, will this stay? It just gets tuned out. Pulling out. Okay, let's put shrub down. And... Yep, the shrub blocks it. Good. And then maybe a strandola. Should have everything we need for this right now. I hope. Yep, okay, the shrub was actually only one. That was nice. Okay, and there we go. What's in here? This is okay, just for that ruby, but hey. Solve that puzzle. Let's use the nice bed. Uh, one. Two. I imagine that yeah, Zelda's bed should be even better. Wind cannon. Yep. The Baba. Cool. Come on down. Eat it. Eat it. And... Oh! If you... Dismiss your Echo before it gets eaten fully, it just comes back out. Okay. Fair enough. It's such a silly way to do it, though. I love it. And... There we are. Now it should maybe come down. Maybe. Yeah, but it just comes careening off the side. Fun. Cool. Oh, no, that was true. Oh, dang. Eat it, eat it. Nice. And very plainly, flying tile would do great here. Yep. Thank you. This gonna be our... Got another kind of Gibdo. That is frightening. Level 2 Gibdo. Let's see that ends. Oh, or a Raptor we did. Either way, keep you on fire. Seems to pretty reliably keep you from doing much of anything. Okay. Come on, ends. Level 2 Gibdo? We're into Gibdo level 2 Echo. After we already got, just after we got the normal one. Terrifying and driven by vengeance, this bandage transforms into a redent when set on fire. So that's how they dealt with that idea. It's on the other side. Oh, there's the plug. Hey. So we had to find some way around you then. It wasn't something we'd just avoid. And there was our way back, so let's take our bind and pull that plug. Let's do that. Come on, come on. And quicksand's coming. Yep. Here we go. Andrew released. And the entrance is there. Let's go in the dungeon. Nice. And after removing the plug in the cave, the entrance to Rudolph's Sanctum appeared from beneath the sand. Now you need to find a place to create an opening into the rift. That's funny, because you can see that hole there. I wonder if we could actually get side there somehow. Even if there was no reward, just a butts about on top of that. Our Gibdo level 2 and the Gibdo. They were exclusive to this. Hmm. Oh, I could use a Gibdo for here then. What would be useful for? Another cane. That was cool. Hi. The fraud light us, restore the entrance, and there weren't any monsters. That said, there will be monsters inside the sanctum itself. Keep your guard up in there. Will do. Here we are. Drudo Sanctum. You can create an entrance here. Sandback Zelda. So is there going to be a still world portion outside of it, or is that just for... Is that the point of the desert temple? 
you create an opening into the rift in Gerudo Sanctum, enter and mend the Gerudo Desert Rift. Huh. I wonder what we'll get besides pulling things in. Oh, it's not Link, presumably. Oh, person in a green tunic. Was Zola? Wasn't that Link? We're straight in here already. And yeah, it's a small dungeon then. Okay. Huh. So I guess most of the dungeon, quote unquote, was outside. Well, then Moa's are really, maybe, more of the real boss of the area, then. It's interesting. Hello. Thank you. Up top, and... Also this. No, the dungeon's not small. Okay, I was just confused on the wind size. Okay. Here we are, here's our teleport. Map Dome Day. The warp here is in the map. Which way are we gonna go? Got keys. Okay. Go ahead and... Why are they not hitting? Whatever. Alright. Aww. What is stopping them from hitting that? Whatever. I... The ice keys should be basically invincible here. I'll touch them, they'll just freeze. Okay, cool. Why up, kill him. Yep, it just freezes them and kills them. Nice. Okay, this polarity. What do I gotta pull here? It's a gimmick. That's. Aww. Push, pull, open, close. And it stays, but it slowly closes. So we need to pull this as far as we can. Oh, and if we jump, we can avoid that pushing us back. Okay, now I see. So this is what we gotta do here. So it's a speed challenge. That's fun. This door we need to pull. Spin it around. Oh, interesting. Any other way we want to do that, or...? Keep spinning that for whatever reason, I wouldn't imagine. Here is that. Maybe this is gonna be. Hmm. Don't think I can actually close that again, but there's our key, so I guess the question is what would I get for going the other way? There might be a piece of heart in the dungeon, or at least some kind of reward. So it starts with a bit of opening. So it doesn't just crush us. Okay. Down. Fun music. Oh, just a bunch of flying tiles. And it walks. It's a reward for this garbage we're going to be then. Honestly, if we just keep moving in circles, it more or less gets to dodge most things here. Okay, and yep, there was a treasure chest, so it's not a matter of... Oops, trap room with no reward. It's... Okay, cool. This is... Okay, just a red rupee, so... Kind of a fig leaf of a reward, but still. We're gonna open this up. Oh well. Nope. Some kind of snake. This is from the snake statue Echo. A foreboding statue with a raised head and a coiled tail. Its cold eyes stare into the distance. I how I paralyze something like that. What do you do with this? Snake statue. What a moth that was here. I can freeze you. Yeah. Or, of course, the best thing to do might be the firework. Come on. Just gotta make sure they don't go at me. I can hit the wall and I can stun them forever, more or less. That's nice. What damage are you gonna deal? Even I should just be using the firework. Maybe, maybe just fire octos. Fire octos are good here. Except. Not shooting up. That's strange. I. Mm. Yeah, they can't angle all that well at all. Huh. I. Might just. It might just be a boomerang board one moment. One's dead, and there we go. Have one fight the other one. From the Mothilla Echo, we already level 2 from Pharaon. This insect creature blasts through the air when it spots an enemy while fast it can't stop quickly. 
Let's just try this out then. New guy. Hi. Go ahead. Powerful. Oh. Just you can't do much of anything. Please kill the other one. Its damage is not actually appear to be all that good. Eh. We're gonna drain the sand then. That's over. Hmm. It's from Mafia. Goodbye. Enjoy death. Drain this somehow. Wonder how that's gonna go. Okay. See that on the other side. Gotta be digging. We'll dig our way out. I clearly you're basically meant to use the moth to break all these crates. I think. Something like that. Go ahead, or not. Oh, I guess you just have to pull them out of the stack and okay, well, alright. That kind of works. Please. I nice. Uh, bomb or something? Maybe. Bombfish just stays in. That's not good. Uh, mm, not quite. That's out of the way now. But I can put a bomb down or something instead of just tossing things off at the void. Well, I could have just. That's right, I can just push them more. I'm stupid. Okay. Bombfish. Not as good as zero, because you have to. Well, but still, that's an interesting condition to reduce its pure effectiveness. But really, it's whatever is at maximum. Oh, goodness, already? Okay. Huh. Did not expect that Chromadilla to be that hard to fight, but we had to get Mole to get in here. I wonder if Mole Echo stuff isn't going to be the sort of point of. Sort of boss gimmick, maybe. Come on. Well, either way, have a whole mill. Let's do this. Jump. Open this chest. Whatever's inside. I really do seem like Sonic with all these half pipes. All these slopes, that is. And an egg, single golden egg. Not bad. Let's rest somewhere. Thank you. Oh, and it's. Beyond the chest, okay. Whole mill needs to be ready. So does our knob one. Mm -hmm. Right. Knob one. Board one, actually. And come on. Oh, goodness. Not great. Come on up. Alright. Dismiss you up. Dismiss up. Oh, goodness. That's annoying. Well, it got in the way. <laughs> The fact that you can't change your target by flicking the stick is legitimately the most annoying thing about the game. Because it's... For all the things that they honestly kind of took from Souls, they didn't take that. But that surprises me in a bad way. Okay. Come on. Come up here. Come down. Down here. I really do wonder what the boss is going to be. Another teleport, we can pull that wall around. Here we are. The point has been recorded, yeah. See, two distant tributes, clues to the bizarre tributes are recorded somewhere on this floor. One has got to be a snake statue. Oh, pose, okay. Huh. Alright. Well, it. Oh, the fire. Interesting. Ah! Oh, that's damage. That's real damage. Okay, well... Hmm. I feel like Ice Octos might be good here. If you frozen, I can... I'm sure... Well, it's just a projectile. That's the main thing. Can I pull you out? I really can pull you out, but only somewhat. For a brief moment. Either way... See what this does. Oh, we could probably use that for the lantern behind a cage in Feron. Oh, and the Poe Echo. A mischievous spirit that uses its lantern to set things on fire and chase it and slip through walls to escape. Huh. I can sympathize. 
That's just sweet. This is... Oh, the map. Here we go. We got a dungeon map. They can see the dungeon lit. This area of the still world, but it's just the dungeon. Okay. Oh, no. Does this go outside into the... Oh! So it's actually repeating the same sort of idea as the desert temple. Even though the actual desert temple itself is not accessible. Hey, look. Oh, and there's fake Link. It's gotta be Link, but where is he going? Link, where are you going? It's still Gerudo Sanctum. Oh, and it's actually pretty big. Wow. Let's go see what else I can explore in the meantime. Before I truly exit the dungeon, but... That's actually really cool. This is heading... Who knows where. We're probably up into... That would drain the sand eventually, I bet. Pull that. Okay. What's in here? I need the jingle in the cutscene every time. We've done that before. So, whole mills... I had to have done that already, kinda. Yes, if you had found some way to avoid getting it. Which is kind of crazy as an idea. I'm sure that's all that possible. I, okay. Oh, and it hit me anyway. Alright. Cool. Strap you. There we go. Cool. Oh, you can't stop him. Okay. Okay, like we can stab the way. It's not bad. The Conobo is insufferable. Oh, did that already kill the mole? I guess. No, it's not dead. Yeah. Okay. That would require a fairy. Okay. Come on. Come on. Just do, do your thing. Oh, what if we drop a bomb down the hole? That'd be funny. Oh, no. It just kills everything. Right? In the way. Oh. So stupid. Feel as if we need ice octos or something that got a projectile. And, yep. Stuck, kinda. Okay, there we go. And, well, the rupee's gone. Oops. It's in this chest. And this is. It stands quietly in the sanctum. It is blue and cult with large tusks and a long nose. So, yeah, it's a snake statue. That's why we can copy it. Ten portions of rock salt. Alright, I guess. Let's sleep. Hmm. Being able, having to, and being able to go around outside, do a bit of exterior exploration to make this work is cool. It's interesting that presumably you won't be able to close that spinning door, spinning wall again. So the way you choose it to be oriented is is going to be the way. Huh. For some time. Right. So it seems that something's changed in the area after some quest progress from its initial stay. Not just in the cities, but also that Lamoa was not there before. Mm -hmm. Tributes. One's a snake and the others. I wonder if they care about which is left and which is right. If we, we could just climb up that right. I imagine. It would be a silly way to do things though. Yeah, nothing stops you. It's even a... Wow, okay. There's a teleport over there, too. Cool. Alright. It... I... This game's big. I'm pleasantly surprised. Main thing is, I just need more echo. I need more echo points. I should be able to get to five by the end of this dungeon. Hopefully, or at least by the end of Zorna stuff. And that would allow me to use all the crazy monsters I've picked up and acquired that I just can't right now. Okay. Come on. That jump was a bad idea for you. And I... Come on. I... Oh, but now we're on that rock. Peace. That ledge. And too bad for you. Come on. Pull that up. We don't even have to bridge up it. We can just pull it off after we pull it up. Okay, and here we are. Pull it over, and there's the chest. Cool. And it's okay, just a red rupee. It. I need more things to use rupees for. I hope they give me something to use rupees for. Something more to use rupees for, that is. Somehow the water. That 
I can rotate this. Make the ladder segments appear. Yep, nice. Wonder what would be on the other side if we kept pulling. It's been around for no reason. Just why would you, I suppose, but you know what you Awesome. Okay. Well. And what a waste of my time. Cool. Go up top, open this. I wonder if the key's out here. It's purple ruby. Okay. Huh. But again, it what else do I need rupees for? Nothing really. Huh. Teleport is probably gonna be useful. I bet some of the sand ring might happen here. Come on. Right, now you stop your idiocy. Come on. Keep hitting. And stay away. Thanks. Okay. Any more? Any more? It. Thanks. Yep. Just the right time. Fun. Fun. Nice. Okay. Over this way. How to do any digging or. Maybe you're supposed to sink in the quicksand. Eh, probably not. Alright, we can climb up and over. Being over here is easier than trying to figure something out while actively sinking. Thank you. And. Can't reach you. Whatever. Just recall you this way. Well, you could skip that entire thing. I think he misses just some rupee chests, but. You know, it's more fun this way. Oh well. And. This waypoint has been recorded. Now we're appears in the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Mothula. I think. You're a bug. But you're not grounded, so Firelock don't do anything to you. I. Boomerang Borbon is probably my best option here. Back up so you can get hit. Oh, goodness. Come on, come on. Good range damage. And the potential of maybe sometimes being able to multi hit. That was good. Oh, there are lots of things to pull away. Oh, this is clearly the chest. And I... Wait! Oh, can't you go through the window? Uh-huh! Nice. I like that. Very unorthodox. And I... Need. There's a rupee there. Okay. Get that. And monster there and I... Oh, we dead. Bad news! It's blowing me off. Not good. Oh, we can get the chest. Let's see what happens. Thank you. Fire is good against Rita. That's right. Monster stone. Huh. We will toss a fighter down there. Enjoy. Go to war for me. And two fire octo should hopefully get that Rita gone. Okay. Slow them down. You'll auto target, won't you? You know what to do. Yeah. Okay. And everything must die. Everything must go. Yep, yeah, that was remarkably easy. More than you would expect. And it. Oh, we got a funny. Well, it can't burrow, can it? Oh, it can probably. Yeah, just some shadows. Awesome. Okay, I. Right, right, right. Anyway. Thank you, thank you. But you keep targeting me anyway. No. So there's the window. It's marked on the map. That's the hint, really. And the normal door, but... I want to see what the window gets me. I have to. That's... These are some good real Zelda dungeons. And okay, it's normal stuff. Okay, cool. Come on. Come on, keys. Come on. That's not working quite. That worked, okay. Keep on spinning. Knock you away a little, and I... That did not hit. Oops, I... Okay, I... Alright, annoying. Now we can keep you from going back in at least. Okay. Stuff over there. What is that going to be? Maybe some echo. Oh, that window is going to be interesting. Uh, just slide down. We can just jump down together. Wonder if we had to have to do some kind of aerial spin again. Stuff working for the 
pull you out, rip you out of here. Yeah, we can, okay. And extricate Sam Piranha, who, well, that does it too, I guess. Come on. Go ahead. And there we go. Keep on hitting. And you get back in the sand, I can't really tell. By the way, you didn't that time. Good for me. Crawl up. Go up. And so, oh, Reday. It's awesome. That is plainly Fire Octo territory. Fun. Thanks. Keep burning. Oh, goodness. That's. Oh, uh, no. Come on. Let's say far away enough that there are multiple, which is an issue a bit. Fire is helping. And. Annoying. You don't notice. You don't notice. Okay, whatever. And this should hopefully be... Yeah, that's what we need it. Hello there. And just shoot. I keep you from screaming. Normally, I imagine this is the kind of thing where they maybe kind of intend you to come back later. No. No, thank you. We're going here. What is this all going to be, then? Can we pull that? I went onto that. Barely. Mm -hmm. Maybe a boss key? Probably not here. Mm -hmm. Get around that way. Go like this. And... I pull that one. Now it's this one. Go back this way and... the top and see whatever's up top here. Answer is... what? Ah, the other statue. Hello. You are the hawk statue, Echo. Pointed statue with folded wings and a hooked beak. It's sharp eyes stare into the distance. Okay, cold eyes, sharp eyes. Okay, well, alright. All rise. Oh, but I bet there is a red herring statue. One that's more obvious, but not over there. Hmm. Let's keep going. We gotta remember the window. That's open now. I guess whenever you enter the room, it starts a bit open. That makes sense. Hi! Are you there? Thank you. Not sinking. I'm always, though. So we got our stuff going. That's good. Largely just platform across, but I bet Flying Tile will do good here. I think. I should try that. Okay. Let's use that. Flying Tile down. No, not like that. Not like that. I'm over there. Okay. We get oh, no. Oh, no. It's not going nearly far enough. Start a flying top from over there. I'm diagonally. Top and right of the one we were on before. Let's see how much we can pull this back. That's the most we can pull it back. Okay. This should work. It's flying down this. And. Nice! Okay, let's get inside here. And oh, lots of statues and also Gibdos. Cool. Thank you. And we did too. Hmm. I don't like this place. I don't. Luckily, catch fire and stay fire, but stay on fire, but still. Oh, come on. Let's move you around, maybe. Do a bit. Get this rupee at least. Oh well. That's you know, the cat statue, Echo. Yep, there are multiple. We have to figure out which one is which. Wide statue with a mark on its forehead and rounded features, its cunning eyes turned to the distance. Oh, please. Come on, let's just put down multiple fire octos. Putting uh, a place where they can actually get hit. Come on, now you're close. Keep that fire up. Come on. Yep, and we should be okay. Yep, two is enough to stunlock. The right rhythm. Mm, fine. Okay, and. Is that a good rhythm? Sand. Nothing too complicated. Yeah, this one is probably red herring. Teleport and... Mm -hmm. It's gotta be the boss key or something. Yeah, then that's just a separate room in that window and nowhere else. Okay. Huh. Check the outside view. You know, warp here is in the map. So, Southern was just a little area that led into the dungeon itself, but this is going in and out a little. That's fine. Oh, and here's our link. Fake link. Ah, oh, the bow fake link. Oh, okay. 
Oh well. Shooting at me. Dodge Zelda. Oh, I blocked it. Oh. And another fake link. Huh. You know, what if we just blew him into the pit? That might be the best way to do things. Be funny. I. Oh no. To get you to fall in. That would be instant death, right? I. I. Mm, let's push you in in a way, but your jumping is an issue there. Feels as if they're trying to get you to push him in. That's funny. Can I? More sand is coming. Can I? Mm -hmm. Let's keep pushing you in. We have so many. If we have multiple, we could force you there. Force you in. I. Mm, now I see. Yep! And. Oh no, he just comes back. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Pitfall strategy is not a strategy. I... Did the Deku Baba just eat him? That'd be funny to try. No, just chomps him. Hmm. It might be... Club, board one kind of thing. We can briefly bring him back. Oh, okay, so let's just keep away. Chase. That was easy. So he was weak. He was just evasive. I wonder if falling into pits actually did damage to him. Or what? Oh. Multiple? Oh, no. That's not good. Can I pull you over? Okay, so they're multiple, but they're all individually weak. Now I see. Each of them can only take two hits from this mob when I... Okay. Thank you. They're a bit weakened after they do their triple shot. Okay. Oh, it's strong there. Come on. That was a nasty surprise. But, I think we got that bow now. Nice. Not that I needed it. I don't use that stuff. And there's our swordsman's bow. I think when I had in the t -t -t tutorial prologue, it was blue or metallic. It's like what happened to fasten your people at the castle. It was taken by the still world and replaced by with an imposter too. Maybe we can help the real link by fixing the rift. Maybe. But that we could just avoid that entirely. I don't have to collect it. No reason not to, but. Oh well. And we got the bow of might. Now you can fire arrows by pressing X when in sword fighter form. Yeah. Key items. Can we level that up? A mysterious bow that can pierce through the monsters of the rifts. Hint sword. I'd imagine we can level that up. But I do need to get myself oh, healed up a bit. Oh, so the sand piles just come down automatically. Because it's more or less his cover that he is just trying to shoot at you and stay away. Yeah, that's what's going on here. Oh, I see. I wonder if that hidden room is a key or a piece of heart or something. Maybe a golden egg. I, again, I wonder what the presumable... I presume there's going to be a way to get a renewable source of golden eggs eventually, but don't know what that is yet. Hmm. Just gotta make sure we know what statues to put down. I think it's probably Snake and Eagle. The cat one is just a red herring. Depends on how many there are, because it depends how many possible combinations I need to try going through. Oh well, and it... Oh, there you are. Beetles. Okay. Let's just drop that off. No, oh, we gotta drop the hill off. Oh, all possible, and... Oh, it just breaks! Ah, gravity does it too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems I have to use the bow of might. That's the only thing that can destroy that, I think. Maybe. Come on. They force you to get rid of some obstacles using this, but. Uh, let's just see. Because you can't force a shot. 
Which is interesting. <laughs> Maybe with a bomb? I don't know. Yep. Just put a spark down. And... Oh, it just falls. Okay, well, alright. You know, I wonder if we could go and upgrade the thing right now. <clears throat> Let's go out here and go into the elevator. Then. I mean, go out the window. And I want to see if I can... <clears throat> Talk to Wubery now that we have that boat and just upgrade it for that fight. And I. Okay, well, alright. And I. Mm, <clears throat> need a platform up in there then. Come on, come on. I, oh, well, that. Not fun. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> da da da. <clears throat> At least the keys start coming back down. Goodness. No more should do it. Okay, cool. Well, I can always just toss you off the edge, but again, that's no fun. Go up in here, and oh, hmm. So then, just gonna have to bridge up in. Okay, that's passable. Nice, 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 nice. And can we? No, we need to be right up against it then. The way moving back is. Do the trick. What's in here? Another statue. Oh, it's just, just rupees. That's actually cute. Okay, well. Go in here and back to Wuburi's house. See if we can upgrade this now. Give me better. Give me a better bow. Can I charge it up yet? Probably not. <clears throat> Do a test. And yep, that's the ball. Can't charge it up. Okay. <clears throat> Don't need that. Talk to you. Got something new. It's something. Oh, thanks. I can journey ahead of you. What do you want to enhance? Enhance the bow. Nice. <clears throat> Take ten my crystals from you. Sure thing. Leave it to me. Don't think we can enhance it any further. Well, the sword can be enhanced further because there's level two in the prologue. Here we go, let's use the crystals in. Cool. Yep, and that's that blue metal bow. The bow fight is now level 2. When in sword fighter form, press X to send arrow flying and hold X to charge and release and reach 3 arrows at once. So use ZL to target and release arrows in a specific direction. What do you want to enhance? Can't be done yet. Can't enhance any further right now. Come back after do more research. Okay, cool. Machine, whatever you want to enhance something. Well, let's sleep. Little, little frightens. We can't rest in here, okay. So right now it's somebody's bed and just heal from that fairy then. Cool. cool. Is it for healing, yeah. Then go back into here. But we can't just teleport right in. That's sad. Teleports only really teleport between each other in the dungeon. Well, alright. Now we got our better bow. Test this out and hold it. Well, not like that. I'm just gonna stay away again. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Test this out real quick and yeah. Charge up. Two fire. Three arrows at once. There you go. That's our strafe, but not the issue here. My question is, if I charge it up in 2D. Gonna spread vertically? Can't even charge them up in 2D? Is right where we were. Oh, so that in the middle, that middle bar is. Can't believe I didn't realize it in Southern, but to be fair, it's been a while since the last dungeon. That it marks more or less. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's where all the 2D segments are. Found really hard on the 2D too. Oh right, I annoying. Come on. Let's just drop that. Thank you. There we go. We got some energy back too. Fuck. Kill. Kill. Oh, so in theory you could use this for infinite energy. If you cared. Okay, cool. Charge this up, you can. Yep, and it's vertical. So if I jump... Okay, that's 
to... Okay, interesting. Flying tile would be good here, yeah? Yeah. And there we go. Destroy this other membrane if we felt like it. Let's do it like this and... Yep, instantly by charging it. Nice. Okay. Seems to be, again, the only way we can take those down. And here's another. There we go. Cool. Hmm. It does seem like letting a Baba eat things is a good way. Oh, but I... Bet the way this is supposed to work is you... Maybe... Dig a hole somehow and drop it down a level? Maybe. I... Pull that there. How's this gonna work? But, oh, you changed the direction. Come on. Ah, nice. This change of directions of things does seem to be the sort of primary mechanic. Well, the bind. That, it's a good mechanic. And that's over there now. We got another statue. The elephant statue, Echo. An impressive statue with a long trunk and polished tusks. It's knowing eyes staring into the distance. A lot of statues that are... Can't imagine they'll be used for anything else after this. Got a key. Fun. Back to where we were before. That's been turned around, so we can just go back this way. Cool. Hmm. That's it. I wonder why there's a teleport here, then. Oh, well. Either way, we have a key now, which means coming out of here is not a bad idea. Open that, and then go to the boss room. Hmm. Yeah, we can use the key now. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Right. Down here. And... Let's go across. Long tile. But we don't need to worry about that because we're just... Opening the door of the key. Okay. My question is, can you even put... Can you put them diagonally? You can't put them diagonally. Okay. And... Just gotta open this up. Here are the two offerings. Those are weights. Can we walk on from the other side or? Yep, yep. Walk on from the other side to open it. Nice. There you go. They primed you. They primed you for that. Bet if we spun this around till they all lit up. Hmm. The question then is. Oh, I can get rid of. If we spin them around, they should all get rid of, in my imagine. Let's move this out of the way. But I can't copy that fire turret, can I? Well, I can get rid of you. Let's get this crate over. I'm breaking myself. Yeah. Okay, cool. If I spin this around continually, bet, just light them all up. Come on. Seems to cycle to an extent. Let's pull this and. Let's. Mm, no, it's directional. Okay, I. No, not like that, not like that. Pull, pull, pull. And then we have to pull from this direction then. Come on, I... Uh, how do I... Well... For this one, we just use a brazier or something. That's fine. And will you shoot that? There we go. Yeah. Well, you're not high up enough and you don't aim up. Like the ice soccer does. Weird. And... Chess? Oh, no. Just the other information. Fun. That's... It rests its wings atop a tower. There are sharp eyes and a strong beak. So then probably just, yeah, the snake and the... Snake and the hawk, so a bunch of them were just red herrings entirely. What's the one over this way? This thing might have shown up, I hope not. Either way, we're almost done. And right, we gotta use our wind. Get that out of the way. That's sense quietly in the sanctum, just blue color with a large tuss and a long nose. Oh, okay, so elephant and hawk. Okay. 
Hog and elephants. Elephant. And is that it? Yep, that's it. Nice. And go in. Get rid of them, it doesn't close. Okay, cool. Yep. There are four. Let me choose the correct options. And... Oh, this will get rid of some of the other sand. Nice. Cool. Can't go through there. Wait. Drains the top over there, then. Mm -hmm. Other chest, though. Oh. This keeps going. Yeah. There's our boss chest. Oh, and we have to spin it around. It's not just going to come to us like last time. Yeah. Go through here. And there's our... Oh, it's just right here. But how am I going to... Ah, oh, the sand's gone, but... And how am I going to handle this? Second floor. It's directly under this. Hmm. Okay. So what if I spin this one? Spin that, I... Grab it. Ah, okay. Here we are. Spin that in. Okay. Aww. That... Complicates things. Slight rotations and weights. Wait, huh. Can I do a sort of quarter turn or is that what we had to do? Yeah, we had to rewind its axes. And there's our boss key. Oh well. Ooh, nice. I like that effect. You got the big T, now you can open the big door. Alright then. So it seems like spinning things around with a grab is the concept of the dungeon. Now we can get that. How am I gonna get that chest? Hmm. That sends me back to that room. I wonder if I went down the other... Well, that bottomless pit. These bottomless pits were always bottomless. Never mind. Let's... Use a bed to go up. Actually, just rest in it briefly, too. Thank you. Nice. Again, we're not using sword powder for him. That's okay. And then I... Hmm. A chest. How am I going to get under it? More or less where we are is this vertex. Hmm. Break these, we can maybe pull it over somewhere. I feel like pushing it onto the sand somehow is going to be the way we have to do this. I back up and will that drop it? It does not seem like it will. Huh. That I weird. It's really strange. Maybe fighting the boss will drain that chamber. Maybe there's another way through here. It's worth a shot. That's still there. Whatever. Come on. Actually, what if I drop through here? That's just... Yeah, okay. Never mind. Push that, and... Other side of the room. Maybe a bomb? I wouldn't think. So what would... I feel like putting a bomb down could be worth trying, but it's just unexpectedly a bombable wall. Classic invisible bombable wall. I mean, classic unmarked bombable wall. No, not that time at least. Hmm. This doesn't damage me. Hmm. This is strange. I. I honestly wonder if some kind of way of making this match up is necessary. I could pull that there, but not open it clearly. Hmm. I sand is dropping down from above, and oh, it's that quicksand pit. Right. Okay. This quicksand pit over here probably leads there. Ah. 
That's what you get for sinking. The trouble of sinking. This... Yep, let's try that out. We gotta remove our accessory. Let ourselves sink. And... Moment of truth! Oh, wait. No? Huh? Wait. So then, where is the spot where I maybe dig? That's actually more confusing. Nothing that seems all that telegraphed. Not sinking me. Huh. I? That's weird. Oh, because what would hint at that? Second floor. Top. <clears throat> oh, that really comes through, though. Hmm. Maybe if I dug a hole in it? Maybe. Just gotta keep having the mole dig holes until we find the proper location. I find that a bit preposterous. It might be the truth. Maybe. You don't dig in that roof. Hmm. I... It's coming down from above from somewhere, but... That does not mean all that much to me. Hmm. There, this... Leads... To a relatively similar place. Somewhat geographically contiguous. Somewhat. Generally, a ladder will correspond to another ladder somewhere nearby. Something in here, then, maybe? Maybe, but that's the first floor. <clears throat> it may be a strandola. Yep. Whole mill. I. Really wonder. I. Oh, we can. Can we plug this back up? No, we can't plug it back up. Plug's still there, though, for some reason. Hmm. Question is just... Where is it on the previous floor, and what does that even let you do? Hmm. <clears throat> Plainly, the boss is going to be about spinning segments. That is kind of apparent. Hmm. Really just... How? Maybe if I use the wind cannon? No. No. How is this meant to go? Let's not go through the other side. Now there. Sand. Falling from that specific spot. But to find some way to get outside of it. It might be in the external world, actually. I could see that being the case. A couple in the dungeons. Sand's rolling above, but we can't get in there. I it would not surprise me if it was a matter of literally you have to unearth it in the real world and then you can drop inside and it'll take you into the dungeon. There's no sand on the outside to dig through. Let me just check one more time. This hmm. would be a spot to drop down into. Oh, it's this. Yeah, okay. Right here. Now let's see. Alright, there we are. And here's our chest. I wonder what that'll drop us, though. Okay, cool. Fair enough. I should have noticed that. But it was the absence of a treasure chest, that marking of the chest that ordered me, but the sand dripping down is always notable, and this takes me where? Oh, just the Poe room and the Poe's back! Huh. Okay. I'm gonna ignore that. Just go fight the boss and be down here. Mothal and the Po are kind of mini-boss-like, kind of. Although spinning things is definitely another way to find it. Let's do this 
More grabbing and pulling. Oh, the statues are here. Wait. So what is this? Some kind of statue landmark? It's... Oh, it's just a big mole. The Mogriff. Probably... Glyph? Glyph? I... I... Maybe I'll pull you out. To pull you out of the sand. I... Clearly there are wind cannons here. I... Oh, you can blow it out of the sand with the wind. What if you can dig it out, too? Either way, we got... Well, Borblin, let's now we pull you out. Right? Can we pull you out? And try. This is gonna hit your vulnerable butt. Okay, interesting. I wonder if the statues are actually doing anything in the end. Oh, okay. Can we dig you out or No, probably not. I can't pull you in any way that means anything, but clearly the wind cannon is our method of getting rid of you. I, oh, goodness. I, all right. No. Oh, my goodness. Slammed into me, but I don't think that was the wind cannon doing the work there. Okay, well, all right. Can we pull you out of her? There's got to be something else here, right? Right? I think there's something I'm missing. Maybe it's a phase of the fight that I'm waiting for still. Uh, I think we might just have to block you. Come on. Alright, up. Oh, okay. We just have to put something down for you to crash into. So any of the statues would work. And that's the thing. The gimmick of the dungeon is the statues. You use the statues or anything really to just block him. Oh, it's quicksand. Now. So let's re equip her. Anti quicksand sandals. Anti quicksand. No, flying. Oh. Mole Sphinx? Okay, this is ridiculous. Thank you. I... So plainly, let's use our trusty hawk statue and a tornado is coming. Uh, so it's basically put something down for him to crash into and then and the anti quick sanctuary is real nice here though. Come on, I gotta crash down here. Crash down and hit the statue or not. Okay, well. Gotta use the wind cannon to get rid of the wind and oh well I did not expect it to go like that. Okay. I mm, spin, spin. I Okay, that blocked it was good. I the statue. Oh uh, how many phases are you gonna have in this fight? This worries me actually. This might be a bit spicier than I expected. And we Come on, we gotta block you with this. Come on, come on. I, please, please. I, block you with a statue. Statue. This will do it. This will do it. Nice. There we go. Club Borbwin. Let you smack the bot. Can't pull you out, but alright. Keep smacking. You are my best fighter. And dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. Just keep on spinning. It's rid of the waves, too, interestingly enough. Hawk statue and... No. Tornado phase. The bosses, and to be fair, I am playing on Euro mode, but... They're putting up a legitimate fight. From as soon as Dungeon 2. That is a surprise. Not in a bad way, but I... It's really a surprise. I would not have expected this level of engagement. Well, to be fair, you're supposed to be fighting with a sort of fighter form. That would make it a lot easier. And we're doing enough silly today, so... Oh, goodness, we gotta... Do you have a phase 3? Is there a phase 3 here? To be fair, we could hit you... ...without you being in the mode, but I... Yeah, could a boomerang and board went and inflict any extra damage here? Yeah, that's nice. We can inflict a little... Chunks of damage, well, kind of. And then get you in a position of absolute weakness. Once. You can. Don't hit me. So of absolute weakness once the hot comes. And there we go. Hopefully, oh, I should do it. More hits, come on. Let's see a final phase, right? 
maybe. Oh, please. Oh. I gotta use the boomerang board once to actually just inflict little bits of damage when we get the opportunity. And is that death? Thank you, boomerang board. Let's get a bit more tri power, and that was actually a real cool find. So the statues being in the arena was a hint to using the statues as obstacles for it to crash into and become vulnerable from. Ah, okay. That's fun. But for Seismic Talos, it was really just... <sighs> you know, you pull the thing that's obviously pulled. Yeah, interesting. So its weakness is basically the statues. Maybe a lower obstacle. What it might have just barreled through or gone over. Maybe. But yeah, Mo Griff. Not just Mo and Griffin, but probably Mo and Glyph as well. The Japanese. It's a bit of a pun on Glyph too, I'd say. Okay. That. Good dungeon. That was a great dungeon. Had a really cool puzzle, and the fact that. The statues end up getting used in the boss fight. It's nice. My friend shared some of their power with me, and... What are we gonna get? Three? Yes! Finally, we can use all the crazy stuff I've accumulated. Nice. I feel like I can do even more now. That was actually a pretty ridiculous amount. You can now create echoes at a distance. Echo at a distance by pressing and holding Y to charge power. You can create echoes at a distance by holding down Y. And just some micro souls. You got five. Okay. Huh. How many are there going to be? I feel like the number for upgrading is going to get kind of crazy eventually. My friends told me something while we were mending the rift. They said that monster captured them. It was the first time something like that happened to them. But since you defeated the monster, they can get back to work. Okay. Cool. There's not really anything else to do in the steel world for now. So let's go back to your world, Zelda. There we go. Another heart container. Cool. Six or so more dungeons, I presume. Standard format for a 2D Zelda. The rift in the desert has been mended, and Tri's friends are saved. You should head back to your world now. It's the only thing we can do, so... Do you want to return to your world now? Can't exactly do anything else. Cool. Yeah, Mogriff? That was cool. Especially since I actually like the fact a lot that... You can kind of brute force things or sneak in hits even when they're not... Even when their weakness has not been exposed, you're back. All oh, the rifts are gone now, including the big one that was here. You did it, Zelda. Everyone in town is awaiting your return. Come on, let's go together. Oh, so we're just taking straight there. Once it's done, well, close things out. Next time will be Zora's. Time to celebrate the rifts going away. Come on, it's on me. You're going to come crying to me to help you pay the bill again, aren't you? Just that moment, a faint shadow of a warrior rose out of the darkness. Eek. It's like everyone's conveniently forgotten that it's time for training. <laughs> oh, come on now. This is a time of celebration. The rifts are gone. Training can happen tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone is in good spirits. What can I dig up from that hole now? They're gone. They really are. Uh. Zelda, I may express my deepest gratitude. Thank you for helping us. Uh. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Zelda. Because of you, we took decisive action and our desert is saved. I must thank you as well, Dona, my daughter. Your determination, your love for our people has saved this town. Oh, mother, you've grown so much. In fact, I think you were already capable of being chief. But not yet, right? I mean, there's still so much I have to learn. But thank you, Mother. It feels good to hear you say that. Uh, Zelda, you intend to continue traveling and fixing rifts, yes? I will pray for your success. Nice. You're not that your father wasn't here either. But there's still another rift to check out. It's far to the east in a place with lots of water. Let's go take care of that rift now. And that's done. You met the rifts in the desert. Pieces returned to Gerudo Town. Dona and everyone else have returned to their everyday lives. Huh. She is still there. Sand's still there. Save trust friends. Yeah, exactly. Next up is the from Java Waters. We authorize personnel, which we aren't yet. I wonder if there are any quests around here, like... Talk to give you the fan. Not yet, it seems. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Well, okay. That... It's real nice to be able to make... Some of those crazy echoes I got beforehand now. 
I just sort by cost. Oh no, actually, we haven't gotten another triangle yet. Ah, what it was, it was just the ability to create echoes at a distance. And it basically goes as far as it can then. Oh, about that far. Use that to light stuff on fire in Faerun. That one cave I couldn't deal with before. Maybe I'll just go do that right now. Maybe I will. This one right here. Do that real quick. That will be the last thing I do today, then. Hopefully they'll give me something good. But yeah, that was cool. So presumably the bomb should come from a fake link and job roll. And yeah, the whiz rubs are back. Yeah, yay. It's a piece of heart here before. It's cause it's so silly that I went here first. Whatever. Hi. Not my problem. Not my problem. Goma, whatever. Nice use. Well, Club Borblin. Not a different from the other boins. I oh, can I spawn one in there then? That's the question. Can I even spawn one in there? I wonder if I could even use the fire octo there. Hmm. Well, let's light some things up first. Hi. Ah, oh, it's sticky. Hmm. Come on. That does not spread. Okay. Got more Goma. Probably use the bow for that. Probably supposed to use the bow for that. Yeah, probably. But if I just put a couple of beds down and spawn Zol or something on the other side and told it to go for it. Stupid way of doing it, and also means I could have done this before, but to be fair, I did not know that I could spawn things on the other side of walls like that. Zol. Thanks. Oh no. Okay. Huh. Well. It's gonna take longer, maybe. Unless I can. Unless a fire doctor can do it. Will that pass through? Probably not. Oh, it did work! Nice. So. Why that final brazier? After taking out. Well, this will spread the fire, so that might be a good way to do it, actually. Thank you. Might spread the fire. Oh, well, never mind. Burn that. Thank you. As for that fire, what are we gonna get? Something that chest up there. And it... You can't hit that, that's right. There we are. So we're gonna get... Something. Maybe. This is a... Just a purple ruby. Well, we got the answer to that age-old question. And now with that, it... I'd like to go around the desert just to see what has changed, but now that this rift is gone, but... Oh, Cryptic Cavern, it's got a name even. I'll do that eventually. Next time. See if we can do harder mangoes, but that Mogrif fight was really cool. I like that a lot. Weakness is just... Crashing into statues. Frankly, I would imagine that hurts most things and people. But, alright, we should bed a bit. 11 hearts! It's nice! And I would imagine that the, uh, the next dungeon would mean finally having five triangles, I hope. I still wonder what these are. Eh. Enhanced bow that can pierce through the monsters of the rifts, yeah, okay. Enhance bombs that can blow up the monsters of the rifts. Oh, there we are. No more bed there. So, yeah, it went on longer than I expected, but it was fun. Thank you, and yeah, Santa Ragon.